I mean, well, morally, you, morally disappointed. You tell who you you want to tell. I mean, it's not my thing. Oh my God! Why is this so hard? No! 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 no. It's not my business who you tell. <laughs> I hate Benley's hack. <laughs> oh, you. I have nothing else. What to level? Do. What level? I think it's quick. Oh gosh. Oh, uh, boy. The only thing I don't like about Bentley's Hack Pack is the six-axis minigames. I hate those. I need. So a, I'm, I might start playing that again. I have played it in forever since I went I want to replay the entire story of, uh, of uh, Thieves in Time, just because I can't really remember why Paradox wanted to Actually, steal I the Cooper Canes. I should restart that. Because... Well, I'm I'm recently playing it. Wait, so. but because he his father was about yeah. to steal a big ruby. Yeah. Sly's dad stole it before his dad. His dad got caught, mm -hmm. and so he blamed him for not having a childhood. Yeah, but what does that have to do with the canes? He said he was going to destroy the one thing that's most important to the Cooper family, and that's. The family. Something along those lines. Where the heck is this? Well, then why would you steal the canes and not just, like, kill oh, here the first Cooper ever, like, when it's they had a chance? Kid, it's a kid's game. <laughs> yeah, but it's supposed to have, it's, it's supposed to have actual logic that's to it. That that's means... actually a really, really funny... No, you want, no, no, no not reason. kill him. Yeah, no, he, I think Sly actually said that. Then why not just go back to here? He's just like, I wanted to embarrass the Cooper line or something like that. I don't know. But, like, I mean, yeah, kids' game isn't a very good excuse, though. You know, but I, one issue I have, okay? Oh. oh if man. they stole... If they stole, um... Bob's cane, how did any other of the other Coopers have the cane? You're thinking too much. Well, oh, I'm with, thinking just the right amount. Oh, no, you're thinking too much. With, with their perception of how they deal time, because, like, you know, different movies have different laws for time travel. Um, they started off with Ryoichis, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They started off with Ryoichis, and during certain time points, everything should have changed, but it's a cartoon world, so they're like, it doesn't happen until Sly is actually there. So, in uh, their perception uh, uh, of time, none of it begins until they actually get to the time period what about itself. Sly's cane. Sly's cane's his dad's cane. So with uh, with their with how they go with about how the laws of time go by, um, apparently he didn't think it was important enough to actually try and steal Sly's dad's cane. But with them trying to go after Bob's, um, well, let, let's go through that the actual line of how they did it. The first uh, the first time period is Ryuichi. Because that was the page that they hit first. Yeah. Because they could tell that they went after Ryuichi's first because they went at because the Ryuichi pages were starting to disappear, which shows that yeah. that villain in that time period was hitting that character at that very moment in time. So they go back to that time period, and you know his cane is actually actually hidden. That's they've only got Ryuichi. Yeah. So apparently the canes aren't as important as like trying to actually. I don't know why he gathered all the canes. Wait, no, yeah, the canes are important. They just couldn't find it, so they lock Ryuichi up. Because that's so, what um, every villain in a game does. I can't find what I'm looking for, so I'm gonna lock you up. I have a jail. I'm using it. Yeah. It's the whole reason. Yeah. Uh, yeah. uh and then the, okay, so I like, like the next yeah, shit. I was literally about to ask, why isn't Nathan in the hell? call, and now he's gone. Okay, he's gone. <laughs> why wasn't he in the call? Like, why did he leave before? He had, he had to leave to do something. Oh, okay, jerk keep, off. Keep, keep going with your... Uh... Okay, yeah, this, so this when they discussion. steal the cane, when they steal the cane, they leave instantly, because apparently, you know, that's what they were looking for. Yeah. Um, then the next thing, you know, a sheriff badge falls from the sky, and Sly finds it, which gives yeah. him the next hint. That time period, and then, you know, 
Uh, did the pages try? To, did the pages actually disappear after they found the badge, or did they just get the badge and say, "Oh, that's the next place we gotta go"? I think it was inferred that it does, but I don't think they actually show it. Okay, well, whatever happens, they got the cane in that time period, and blah blah blah. I like so, how there had been a lot of luck for the Murray for when they went to Bob's time. That was like, wow. <laughs> Like, I know it's a cartoon, but that even makes you go, like, okay, lucky. <laughs> I just wish that there would have been more character development for the other characters, as there was much for Murray, because Murray developed the shit out of his character. Yeah. Out of his... What? Out of Murray? You mean Murray developed... Yeah, Murray developed as a character. Character S development. Like, okay, I, I kind of get what you're saying, but, like, sh like how? Like, what do you mean? Like, you mean well, he thought he wasn't good enough, and then oh, he yeah, became Bob's yeah. trainer. And now he's more confident. And that's actually going to have to stick with him through other games. That, and he learned that he has a love for wrestling now. What Which about... is something I would have figured he would have had. I thought we already knew that. What about Bentley? He kind of developed a little bit. Yeah, a little bit, but not as much as Murray. And also Sly and Carmelie's relationship kind the of... relationship developed, yeah. But not them as, them as people. Yeah. I don't think Sly actually... Did, Sly didn't actually learn anything, did he? Uh... Okay, I'm not going to say worst, but I'm going to say least best. What is yes. your least best overall villain in the Sly Cooper... Like, like big villain in the Sly... Like the one that you just don't like? No, like, the overall... Okay, we'll start with, like... Like, main, final bosses, you mean? Final, final, like... Okay, so we're talking Clockwork, Neela... Oh. Um, you know, like... Dr. M and... Oh. Ken. I thought you were talking about... Oh. So who's our favorite... Who's our favorite... Wait, who's our least favorite final boss? In terms yes. of what? In terms... Are we just anything? Or I think in talking? terms of character, of who they are. Oh, mm. okay. Um, this is something to think about. Like, like, are you saying just in general? Or are you saying how they developed? Or are you saying... I'm saying, like, just overall. Like, I didn't like that character. Oh. Because of so-and-so. But you're you're not supposed to like them in the first place. I know, but... Like, but like, like the Joker, didn't... everybody loves Joker. Everybody does, because he's a great villain. Who's your Who's not oh. so much a great villain to you? So you're saying in terms, because it's it's kind of weird in context. It's kind of weird to say who who do you not think is a good villain when when that to me is giving them a compliment. <laughs> so it's kind of well, it's giving the developers a compliment of making a good villain. Um. Personally, I don't know. I personally would go with either Dr. M or Clockla. Really? No, Dr. M, probably. What about, uh... So you liked, uh... Paradox, huh? He was alright. He's not... But, no, you know, but I'm talking about in terms of... Dr. M just pisses me off. <laughs> That's pretty good really pisses me off. I really... I, my least favorite is the Paradox. Yeah. Because I had a reason to hate Dr. M. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Paradox just came at the end he's just like, fuck you. And I'm like, fuck you, pal. <laughs> yeah, the one of the big mysteries about Dr. M was like, why does he hate Sly Cooper's family so much? And when I found out why... I'm just like, oh my god, you're so pathetic. I, I, Wait, you, you find Get out, out of my face. What? what? Yeah. Oh, uh, what? What is it then? I forgot. Because Sly's, Sly's dad still uh, a valuable thing before Blue Paradox's dad gets to, and then he's mad because oh, Blue Paradox's about Dr. dad. M. No, 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 oh. no. We already know why Dr. M hates the Sly Cooper family. Why? Because he, uh, because, uh, he felt like he was playing second fiddle to slice that oh, all the time. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's my childhood. Yeah, I need that's to... why I like. That's why I like playing Deadlock. It was because it brought back so many memories of, like, Sly Cooper and Ratchet and Clank and Jack and Daxter. I was like, 
Oh, Sly's not a thief anymore. What am I going to do? I don't have any more games to play. And then I saw on the back of the cover of Ratchet and Clank uh, 3 that Ratchet and Deadlock was going to come out soon. I was like, oh, I'll get that. Oh, okay. oh my gosh. This almost isn't freaking worth it. This game is downloading again. Download again? Or is it installing? I, that's what I don't understand. DC Universe has a separate patch file. So it, it, sto- now, it installed the patch, and now it's downloading something else. Now, what is your least overall, just any villain in the game? In any of the games? Oh, um... Oh, we got a bigger line to go through. Uh, All right, we'll, we'll start small. We'll, we'll go through each game. It'll be like a tournament. It'll be each game, uh, and then we'll compare and contrast from there. Does uh, that sound good? So we're doing each game. We're going to do have, each okay. game, and then from there on. I'm going to have to write this down. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. So we've so got okay. So we've got Raleigh. We've got mm-hmm. I'm totally not I'm just okay. What, mugshot. We got Mugshot. Ms. We've Ruby. got Miss Ruby. Panda King. We've got Panda King. Then Clockwork. And no! Mother Trucker. Okay, Clockwork. Okay. And that's the first one. Sly Go one. With. We've got Dimitri. Sly two. Um or Sly 2, yeah. Sly 2. Yeah, so Dimitri, Rajan, um, Contessa. Contessa. John Bassam. Wait. And then Arpeggio. Or- and then Neela. I, I'm not going to be able to spell that, but whatever. Yeah, Arpeggio is hard to spell. Did actually, anyone, does everybody know that the voice of Kessler is actually Arpeggio? Who? No Kessler. way. What's Kessler? Kessler oh. from Infamous. Uh, oh, I haven't played Infamous. Okay, slide three. We got Don Octavio. Don Octavio. 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 Good evening to you, my fine, the fine associates. The mask of Octavio darker. Um, oh, are we counting that? Yeah, yeah, go ahead and count that. Because sure. I really, I don't count, I don't count it because it doesn't really have a personality. Yeah, but it's still evil. It's an asshole. It's an, it's an item. But um, it's still, it's got an evil soul. What's well, the third fan. episode? Third episode was Flight of Fancy. I always get these mixed up, so... The uh, Black Oh, yeah, Black so... Oh, I just realized, so, so like, we... If you don't like the Black... Oh, so this is... Te- oh, this is double. This is kind of... This is kind of... Like, yeah. This hmm. is going to be double whammy soon. Okay, fourth is... Uh, yeah, wait, we're gonna yeah, have the, the, the that chicken guy. That way, chicken do guy, say, General Sal. General Sal. Did we say Neela yeah. or Clockla or both. What did we say on that one? Uh, Neela, because Neela. she just becomes Clockla. Okay. Uh, Doesn't really change who she is. It just makes her a bigger bitch. Is it is it Doctor M after Sal or is there one more? No, there. Uh, no, it's Doctor M. Really? Yeah. That's what I thought. I thought there was another one. One, two, three, four, five. There's only five? Oh. Okay. Yeah, because then you have the entire gang with you, and then you're ready to do the operation. Oh, okay. Um, so Sly 4, we... Oh, wait. So Sly 4 would just be... Or no, no. Never... No, you could cat build. Uh, what's I guess? El Jefe. El Jefe, yeah. I need to replay it. It's been months since I played it. Um. Sergeant Toothpick. Toothpick? Yeah, Sar... <laughs> I Ding. spelled out for toothpick. Um, who's third? Love the Black Knight guy. Well, uh, now the Grizz. Or no? No, uh, it was the it was the no. Grizz and then the Black Knight. Yes. It was. Yeah. Oh, oh, I think so. Now wait, now. Do we say Black Knight or do we? Say- yeah, 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 yeah. It was uh. No, let's just go ahead with Black Knight. Make it easier. Um. So wait. Because that's what the icon is anyway. And then it's La Paradox. Yeah, after the Grizz, and then the Black Knight guy, and then La Paradox. Oh no! Wait, wait, wait. Um. Uh. Are we oh, counting? Oh, Miss Decibel. Are we yeah. counting Decibel? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, actually the last one. recap, so you can think about it. We got Sly 1, Raleigh, Mugshot, Miss Ruby, Panda King, Clockwork. 
All right, well, like, let's dude. start. Let's start. Should we start like game per game and then move oh, on? Oh yeah. Okay. So Raleigh, Mugshot, Miss Ruby, Panda King, and Clockwork. Raleigh. Um. I think Raleigh's everyone's least favorite. Yeah, that's me. Level design wise, I don't like Ms. Ruby's. But oh, character wow. wise, yeah, um, character -wise. I, think, I think I don't like. This is hard. Because the thing is, Raleigh doesn't have much room for character development. He's just kind of there. None of them do, really. It's just. Well, yeah, it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't really. Damn. That game wasn't really the character development. The character development was the opening scene of where you see that they had a good life that was just, you know, they let things get to them, and they had a choice to either become good or evil, and they decide to use their power for evil. Yeah. Because that's what all Sly villains do. Mm -hmm. I love that about Sly Cooper is that they, it's just a person that has had something really bad happen to them in their life that made them go, okay, something's bad happened to me, so I'm going to do bad things. Yeah, it's not like... They chose to be. It's not like they're like, I'm going to kill Sly Cooper because he's a raccoon or something. Like, it's... Yeah, that's why I kind of like the villains in Sly 4 because they're totally different. Like El Jefe, nothing bad. There was no backstory, that much backstory to him because all we want to know about him is he's a bad guy that does bad things for money. Oh. And he was like different from all the other villains in the series. So I'm like, oh, I, I like you. You don't. Nothing bad has happened to you. You just chose to be bad because you're a dick. Wait, who? El Jefe. Oh. Well, I think I think there's a difference between the Sly 4 villains and any of the other games' villains. Because really, all the other games' villains, like you said, are like, they have crap happening to them. But in Sly 4, they're all connected to La Paradox. So... It's not like they had something really bad happen to them. It's just that. Well, I mean, they had their own lives before La Paradox, though. Like Miss Dezibel, she was just embarrassed at a recital and found out she could have psychic powers if she just, you know, shoved a trumpet up her horn. That is such a freaking a weird concept. Yeah. Like, like I really, really pride the Sly Cooper franchise for just having the most random backstory. Characters. And the most random yeah, are... crap that happened. Like, not... Actually, not really random. That's not the right word for it. Creative is the right word for it. And it's like... I remember... Not random is the right word. I remember um, when Sly 2 first came out. I'm like... How did... Like, when I'm watching the intros, I'm like, how do they come up with this stuff? Like, how do normal people come up with this stuff? It's like, wow. <laughs> Jeez. Um... Okay, so what 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 was everybody's choice for song one? Raleigh. Who was your Who was yours, Ryan? Uh, that's why I'm asking you. Oh, <laughs> I, I'm I'm kind of leaning toward Panda King, but not so much because I enjoy him as the character that he, you know he's an artist, and nobody liked his art, so he decided to go evil with it and you just know, like how do you like art now? And I love how up. I love how technically. Um, I'm noticing a connection between Panda King, Dimitri, and Octavio. Yes. Where, because, like, they're all mad because somebody oh, doesn't yeah. like yeah, what cause they have. Yeah, because they're all technically artists. Yeah. That, and that's Miss Decibel, too. Yeah. She was musical. She's a musical artist. So, that's an interesting... Actually... Is there a, connect I, a connection? I, it, when I was when I was a little kid, I hated Raleigh though, so I'm kind of leaning towards him. Or How delightful! We have a guest. I hate unexpected Obviously. guests. We, we should. Oh wait, wait. What is it? Dang it! How delightful! I don't know. We have that a guest. sentence just like mushed all together when I was little playing that, that sent, playing that game because I was like, wait, what did he say? Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and say, um, Raleigh. Oh, no, I Because I, I hated him for a while when I was little. Yeah, he was just lame. We have a guess. Raleigh's just lame. The it's alright, Raleigh. Is I hate unexpected guests. I like how you said the hate part. It really sounded good. I hate unexpected... The things I do for love. Courage, cat the dog. 
Uh, okay, so that's sly one. So yeah, I, yeah, I I guess I would. Because all, all, right. like, all the other villains were like fun. Like you you actually like thought they were. I don't know. Raleigh's just kind of dull. He's just kind of meh. All the others are kind of funny because like Mugshot wanted to be strong, and now. Nice. Actually, nice what, jerk. What, what's the connection between, like, why is Mugshot a villain? Uh, he was picked on when he was little, and he watched gangster movies, and yeah, he saw know, how powerful but... and they were. If they were mean to people, they respected him, so he was going to be mean to people so that they would respect him. Well, I'm talking about, like, in the Sly universe. I understand why he's, like, hmm. Then what do you mean? I don't know. It's just kind of like... Yeah. Uh, You're a weird man, right? I don't know. Never mind. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, You're drunk. No, I'm not. You're sleep drunk. No, I'm not. It's only sure. 11. So? I'm not that old. Jeez. There you are. I'm not. Anyway. Okay, so slide two. Dimitri, Wajan, Contessa, Jean Misson, Arpeggio, and Nilo. This is like... Pick, like this is like uh, I don't know I can't this find one has it. a lot more villains yeah and you can't really I can't find much wrong with it has any one of more villain <laughs> what slide two does like one has five one two yeah six yeah you're like oh this one has a lot of villains this one has one. but as it is a lot more levels then let's go ahead and yeah say that. more more because they double up some some of them double up so. Cause like I can yeah. beat I can beat Sly one in like six hours, and I think Sly two it takes me like fourteen hours or something. So it is a longer game. So what what do you think? And why'd you leave? I don't know. I guess, um, I don't know. It's kind of like I don't know. I can't really pick one. I get. I guess Arpeggio? Yeah, I would say Arpeggio. Because we don't really yeah. get anything from him. Yeah. That's the, the only thing. thing. The only thing we get is his past, and he doesn't survive long enough for us to really well, get, that, like, oh, that, that, but actually, what I don't get is what's the whole purpose between the light show of hate? Is it just they want to do something evil or something? No, it's to make him immortal. That's, that's what makes because, Oh, Clockwork yeah. lived off of the hate of the Coopers. He uh, doesn't actually hate the Coopers, so he's going to feed off people hating each other. Hmm. Yeah, I, I kind of say him, because it's kind of like, it's kind of like, meh. Because, like, all he wants is to be Clockwork, and that's really it. <laughs> like, how is he going to do anything when he gets to become Clockwork, though? Has anyone actually really thought about that? Like, once he becomes immortal... Everybody's too busy to like buy anything from him. <laughs> Everybody's already trying to like. They, everyone hates each other. What 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 good comes out of like all these people hating each other? I don't know. Maybe I mean, really. What what maybe, is your big plan? Maybe that's why they uh, made Neela Clockla. Because she just wanted to rule the world. I guess. Everybody she, she just wanted to be wants the best at everything. To rule the world. Okay, so we say, okay. I love how we're having the same answer for most of these. Okay, so Don Octavio, uh, Mask of Dark Earth, if you'd even count that, Black Baron, yes. General Sal, and Dr. M. I go Mask of Dark Earth. Wait, did we, did we say the pirate guy? Oh, no, we La didn't. Fui. We forgot about La him. Fui. La Foi. La Foi. La Foi. <laughs> yeah, we forgot about him. I'd say La Foi, yeah. though. Nah, I'd say the mask. I'd say the... Well, I mean, I'm not really I, counting the mask. Because the mask... I tie the mask in the Fui because I really don't have any... Per, uh, the, the mask has no personality yeah, whatsoever other than being evil. But the Fui is just a jerk. And I don't like He him. is. Like, he's just an egomaniac. He thinks... He's the smartest man in the city. He thinks... Space. Yeah, he's, he's cocky. Yeah, he thinks he's the greatest thing ever, and he's really not. Yeah, and, that's like, why I don't like him. I really hate these kind of characters, and you're supposed to hate them, but I hate these kind of characters where they think they're so good that they can have any girl in the world. Like, for, for example, yeah. Gaston from Beauty and the Beast. 
Yeah. He's like, oh, I'm so great, so every girl yeah. in the world should like me, and I can get anybody I want. And it's just kind of like, really, dude? Girls have a personality, too. They can choose whether they like you or not. No, they don't. We're in the 1700s. The women so, can vote. Is that supposed to be Gaston? Uh, kind of. That is not, no. No, I was being Lafui. No, no, oh. no. no. See, anyway, I was say so, yeah, I, I'd say Lafui because I really don't count the Mask of Dark Earth. Because the Mask of Dark Earth... Doesn't isn't meant to have a personality in the first. Yeah, movie. I I kind of don't count the mask of Arthur, so I'm gonna say Lafui because he's a little asshole. Yeah. I would say Sal because I fucking hate him to his oh, core. Oh yeah, that's true. But he's a villain. That's yeah. the thing. He's a true hardcore villain. Actually, that's actually, what... I think I would hate. I think I hate General Sal more than Lafui. I hate him more, but because he, he's, he's a... more of a villain. That's the problem. Well, see, that's General. No, General Sal's a jerk. He's. He's forcing somebody to marry. Actually, technically, if we and General Sal are kind of the same. Yeah. But except I don't like General Sal more because yeah, he's more forceful than Lafui is. Like Lafui, actually, you know, I think I think um, General Sal just wants to know that people like him, but they like nobody does. So he just wants to prove that somebody likes him. But really, I think Lafui is kind of, you know, I kind of feel sorry for him because it's kind of like, oh, nobody, nobody likes you, so you kind of have to. Well, the thing is about them is that um, General Sal is holding up the uh, uh, hand of King King Jin or whatever her name is. King Jin Ling Ding. Jin King. Jin King. Jin King has been held up. And he's just he's just a guy that's like, okay, you know, my family's honorable, your family's honorable, let's make a more honorable family together. And but he's like, so no. insultive. He he actually says she's so stupid. Women don't know anything. Yeah, that's why I don't like him. She is a woman. You see, the thing, the but thing Lafui, is yeah. Lafui just says that he is the smartest man in seven seas. He didn't say that all women are stupid though. He's like, hey, pretty gal. Yeah, I think I think that Lafui, I think the difference between General Sal and Lafui is is that General Sal, because he's a powerful man, ah, he, want, like, he wants to prove that he's a powerful man and that by being a powerful man, he can get anything he wants. And But Lafui, Lafui's just kind of like, he just wants to be liked. He's really it. Like, he just wants to have somebody, really. And the smartest man in the 70s. And, 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 and Sal's just a jerk. <laughs> So just... Yeah, Sal uses his strength over his brain, but Lafui uses his brain over strength. Yeah. So they're kind of the same villain, what but they they path treat path? they treat their way they do things the opposite way, which is really yeah. Cool it's about like it's but they're like... both birds. <laughs> I I think we have to hate them. Like I guess you could hate them however you want, but I I personally would hate them as because they're not a villain. I just hated. That entire China level, I hated Sal, I hate everything about him. Yeah. But the thing is, he was a good enough villain for me to hate him that way. Lafui, I was just like, fuck you, dude, just fuck well, you. Well, no, but you kind of, you kind of can, un you can understand Lafui a little bit more. Because, like, I don't know, I kind of feel sorry for him a little bit. Why? Because he just wants to be liked, that's really it. He kidnapped Penelope. Yeah, because he wants to be liked. He wants a woman. He wants to be. When 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 have we heard this backstory of him wanting to be liked and stuff? No, I'm just kind of inserting that. He does not want to be liked. He just that's... wants to be an asshole. Well, I think he wanted people to know that he was smart. He wanted to prove that he was the smartest man in the Seven Seas. No, but I'm talking. About, I'm talking about the reason why he took Penelope. I, no, he just took Penelope to be an asshole. All right. I don't know. No, no, no. Let's, let's, let's kind of search that a know. little bit. No, why he no, no. Be... I remember he was he he wanted to keep them at bay. He's like if you if you come if you follow me or come near, her, she dies. And she he, was ransom. Yeah. So are you, saying, are you saying? Are you saying she was ran? No, she wasn't exactly ransom. Like he was like, I'm gonna keep her. Don't even try to get near me though. You know what I mean? So wait, you're saying there was no feelings there? She no, just... he, he said, he was just like, wow, you're pretty, like, you're good looking. And he took her along what with the, the fuck? Along with I, the think, I, I think I think the plan the was that at the end of it, 
he was like, oh, I guess I'll marry her too. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, yeah, it was definitely, like, it was, you know what I mean? It wasn't, like, to make Some sure. Some random-ass fucking moth just flew onto my monitor. <laughs> like, literally, it just, like, oh. Killer moth is in your house, run. Oh, maybe, maybe Nathan should join this conversation. What's going on? We're talking about least favorite Sly Cooper villains, and we're going game by game, and then we're going to go on to uh, uh, an overall least favorite. Ooh, fav- is this like a podcast? Uh, I guess I'm, so. I'm, it should be. Are you recording, Ryan? He's always recording. I guess. I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Oh, my God. Yeah, I am. Uh, all right, all right. Well, that's uh, welcome to the TV Scoopers podcast. Uh, Do we never <laughs> say? No, this hey. is Cooper talk because it's random. All right. Well, Nathan the... is very behind though, so he's got to go to yeah. Slide. Rap, rapid fire. All right. Slide one. Least favorite villain. Go. Like by this... by by like. Yeah, not by. You could go by like. Okay, I didn't like him, or by opinion or actual opinion or actual. Oh, hey, what's up, Amanda? Like I would say a bit of I would say a call bit... her Amanda. Why? Yeah, I call her Amanda because it's her fucking name. <laughs> she does. She never lets anyone call her Amanda. Well, she lets me call it. Nathan, uh, anyway. Good. You can go, I, I, I could say go a bit half and half. You know what I mean? Mm. What? To what we're, talk, we're talking about least favorites, Sly Cooper villain. Or, yeah, like, our most hated Sly villains. Well, I thought um, you were the one to intro. When you're the... Personally, I think Raleigh. Yeah, that's we, we all agreed He's on. He's just all. pretty boring. Oh, this is yeah. going to be interesting to see if he we was, all pick he was, the um, same one. He was, like, I think he, he was a really good boss fight. But, oh, like, as a character and in the story, he just seems pretty yeah. bleh. Yeah, he's just boring. There. Okay, what, what what do you think, Amanda? What what am I talking about? You're saying, like, least favorite, least, favorite Sly least favorite Sly villain in Sly 1. Mm, probably Raleigh, too. Yeah, he's yeah. really boring. Yeah, yeah Raleigh we've, sucks. We've, we've all There's nothing really taken, special about him. We've all taken Raleigh. So. While he, while he is so, am I supposed boss? to say someone else now? I guess? No, 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 no. I'm saying I'm just stating that we've all picked. He's, he's just saying that everybody agrees. Um, uh, okay, so slide two. Hang on, hang on. I want to keep talking about slide one for a second because, like, I want to say that all the boss fights, in my opinion, in slide one are really good for the game. But the thing is, every other boss has either an interesting backstory or is an interesting character. Panda King, I would say, is only a little better because he gets fleshed out in three. Yeah. Yeah. But even so, he's a little more same with Dimitri. Entertaining as a character, you yeah. Because you feel pity for him, but you also uh, you also like kind of like, wow, what an asshole. Yeah, it's and pretty Ford... amazing that Sly even forgave him. Yeah. Well, but, um, I just, I just think Raleigh. To. I just think Raleigh's character. Really kind of forced to. He was kind of yeah. forced to by Bentley because Bentley's like, hey, we need this guy. It's he was kind of forced like, to by like, Sucker Punch. He was kind of like, uh, okay. But, you know, we kind of have this past thing here. But He um, killed my father! Well, helped. Come on, get over <laughs> it. <You're> just, <laughs> it's just your father. I mean, it's, it's not, not like... Important. Not like the I guy who helped the first... his head you. into the cement. <laughs> my dad was run over by a car. Get over it. Uh, I didn't even know my father. So I don't even try that bullshit. I hate my dad. We know, Murray. We know. Are we going Sorry, into but... the terrible Cooper impressions now? I, well, no, apparently. we're going. To slide Whoa! Two. I, I, yeah, we're going. To, okay. Slide two. Right, God, slide it's two. horrible. We're going to slide two. Right, <laughs> I thought I was doing good. Go, you go ahead. Oh. Shut up, Matthew. <laughs> we were we were about to talk about slide four before um, Nathan and Amanda came in. So you two are on slide two right now. Okay. So. Hmm. So, least, least favorite villain in Sly 2? Yeah, we're going by game. Ah, okay. For now. Uh, fuck, who are the villains? Dimitri, um, Dimitri Rajon, Contessa, Jean Bassan, Arpeggio, and Nila. Arpeggio. Yeah. I, I, I think just, Arpeggio... Oh my god, really? No, it's 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 because oh. Arpeggio doesn't have the time to actually be fleshed out as a character. Oh my no. god, Nathan, I'm going to punch you but high-five you at the same time. What? We all did that same thing. Is that like, is that a bro God fist damn. or? It's kind of like a bro fist, but it's like to a bro the fist, face. But it hurts so with a knuckles. punch to the yeah. face. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I thought, I thought you said like just punch and high five. I was like, that, that's fist bumping. What? What? Yeah. What? Who's yours, Amanda? 
I said the same thing. Oh, oh my god, you people. Yeah, we all Fuck have this. Daniel. Is so... Okay, <laughs> so okay, wait, 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 what is... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, so slide three now. God. Um... Now, now remind them of the characters, though. Yeah, what's yeah. the oh, characters right, right. there? Where are the Don, char Don Octavio. We're kind of counting this, but not really. Uh, the Mask of Dark Earth. Mask of Dark Earth. Which we wouldn't count. really count because it, do it doesn't... We, we have... We I, have I, I, I'm, not, I'm not counting it because it's not a character. Yeah, it's not meant to... Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's Black, just a mask with evil. Black Baron, Lefui, General Sal, and Dr. M. Hmm. So huh. um, I almost want to say Don Octavio. Really? The thing about Don Octavio, almost. though, is not like sure. while his... While his boss fight was hard as hell and not in the, like uh, and not in the fair that. difficulty way, I think his character overall is extremely entertaining. I love Don Octavio. Yeah. yeah, we're talking we're talking about character really. We're talking about character. Uh, we're pretty much character. boss fight. Um, yeah. Character wise, hard to say. I want to say the Baron. Really. Really. Because the Baron was just kind of like. Oh, 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 oh. So the Baron's not really supposed to happen. <laughs> That's where his entire <laughs> personality is. my lap, Bitly. Because black, the black, well, the Black Baron was Penelope, so like he doesn't really have. Like, well, if we don't count the couple... Baron, then I guess I would count Lefui. Because yeah. Lefui is the. I'm, I'm gonna say I'm gonna actually I'm gonna definitely go with Lefui. This totally wasn't Lef... a force, by the way. <laughs> No, no, I actually am gonna go with Lefui because no, Lefui's the character who le like who left the least impression on me. Like I barely remember anything about him. We so actually Lefui... forgot to to note him actually. Actually, yeah, yeah. We, we were going yeah. to the villains. Really? I think he's he's canonically the worst villain in the game. Yeah, because because <laughs> we were going through the villains, we were like I was typing them out just so we could remember, and then and then Steven's like, oh wait a minute, what what about that Lefui guy? And we're like, oh. Well, yeah. I said pirate guy because I didn't remember his name. Oh, pirate guy. <laughs> That's even worse. That's even worse. Yeah. But, okay, yeah, so we... Wait, Amanda, what about you? What? Sly 3. Your least favorite Sly 3 villain. I don't know. All of them. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'll oh. say that, all of them. Really? All of them? Yeah. Okay, so basically what you guys did is just freak me out because we all just agreed upon the same villain for about every of the original Sly Cooper games. <laughs> okay, so we're moving on to Sly Sly. Now that we've caught everybody up, jeez. Um, this is going to be interesting. Okay, this so, is going to be interesting. This is going to be really interesting. I can't wait. Okay, so we're moving on to Sly 4. You've got El Jefe, Sergeant Toothpick, the Grizz, Black... Sheriff Mitch. Toothpick. What? what? Right. Let me freaking finish the... Mm. Okay, I'm going to bitch. start. <laughs> El Jefe, Sergeant Toothpick, the Grizz, Black Knight, Miss Decibel, and La Paradox. This Wait, is a what? tough one. Between Did you say six. Penelope? No, we said Black Knight. No, we're Knight. saying Black Knight. Oh, okay. Because we, well, we said Black Baron for... Well, that doesn't well, really count. The thing, the thing is, the thing I would say that since she was still a villain when she had her costume off... I'm gonna count them as the same person because she does act like herself in the Black Knight suit. Well, let's, so just, let's just, yeah, let's just combine them into one. Yeah, just say just say Penelope. Penelope slash Black Knight. Yeah, like that. Well, I think I think Penelope is definitely my least favorite villain because it's the one that didn't make any fucking sense to me. Well, okay, that well that's kind of why we're we're wanting to say Black Knight though is because. But Penelope, the Black Knight isn't the Black Knight isn't a character without Penelope. Yeah. Well, you neither is Baron, though. Neither is Baron, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Well, we didn't count Baron. <laughs> I made you not count Baron. <laughs> and then after realizing that we weren't counting him... If no, we no, we okay, actually counted if we weren't, him. If we was... weren't counting Penelope, I'll explain both of these. I, if we weren't counting Penelope, I would probably say... Toothpick. Mine is between Toothpick and Paradox. I like Toothpick. Well, yeah, I, I yeah would Toothpick and Paradox, because, like, but, Toothpick was at least entertaining. Yeah, Toothpick, yeah, I liked Toothpick because he was funny, and he had a cool, like, story behind him. So, I'm gonna have to say Le Paradox, actually. I can only describe yeah. Le Paradox, Le Paradox as a big baby. Basically. Le Paradox seems like he's, his motivation is revenge, and when you bring it to this level, it becomes a weakness. Yeah, no, he's he, such a big baby. He, he, he has see, such a... 
Yeah, he had such an elaborate revenge for something like that's just like meh. Something that minuscule. Your dad like, did something better than mine, so I hate you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah let like me that. Just, let me let me just say, actually, we could move on to best villains, but I really wanted to say I really really like Toothpick and Grizz just for their personality. Because yeah, Toothpick's oh, like yeah, they, no. One thing that Sly Forward did extremely well is characters. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Like indeed. I loved, I loved the um, only thing Adam Sessler liked about the game. I love, yes. I just love the. I forgot the exact line. I need to replay it, but it was like, the, "Tomorrow is my birthday, and I want, I want the cake, but I'm not going to eat it," <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> Who what, said that? What was it? It was something Toothpick. like that. It was like, no, Toothpick had some funny lines, like when he was on the intercom. That was like, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like that was during. I don't that. want to hear no whistling. <laughs> it hurts my ears. <laughs> Hey, I, I wish they anyway? elaborated on why. Would it, would it kill you to would, would it kill you to break out the dust cloth every once in a while, huh? It's it's so it's so dirty. It's so dirty in here. Like like things like that reminded me of like the Sly Three when you're in the police headquarters in Venice. Like oh that, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah yeah. You're really ugly in the night. You are an ugly ugly man. <laughs> you look you look a lot better in the dark. I can see it, ah! I can see! <laughs> that is probably my favorite, actually one of my favorite Sly lines, or in Sly 3, is the... <laughs> you look better in the dark, Pedro. <laughs> really, you are an ugly, ugly man. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, okay, so we have Raleigh. Well, no, well, no I haven't, I haven't really picked Sly 4 yet. Okay. Oh, I, I also like the Grizz, because... Hey, I'm I'm losing. I said I'm losing reception. <laughs> I that is, got chopped. That, that might be my absolute favorite part in the entire yeah, game. Okay, but we'll we'll touch on that in a bit. Um, Slide four. Uh, I don't even know who I hate the most. I mine is paradox. Personally, I don't know. Yeah, because I I'll like the Matthew on that. I liked the villains. I did most of them. The villains were all really done extremely well, except Penelope. Feel like Penelope. If I could say her, she because she feels forced. You know. Yeah, I, I, I kind of get that. I, I kind of think Miss Devil is a little bit annoying. She, but, but I actually like, kind of liked but, her. Yeah, I like how like, classic I, she was. She felt I, like a classic sly villain yeah. because something bad happened to her, and I then she chose like, to be evil. No, I, I like know, her. but I'm just saying her. She person. sounds like she sounds like uh, Miss Ruby in a way. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I like how she was like she could be like like not that bad like, and then she could turn to a huge cunt like a second later. It, it was <laughs> funny as hell because I remember that. playing, and you know the um, <laughs> you remember the part where um she was walking with the paradox. I was like, oh, wow, I didn't know the Paradox was a chubby chaser. Oh. oh. <laughs> I didn't know you were going to say oh. that. I thought you were just going to note on how many times she sneezes. <laughs> she has, like, an aller. She has an allergy to, to, uh, to or... bait. She has an allergy to pussies, which is the Paradox. Ooh. I don't, that's what she should have said at the end. You know why I sneeze so much? Because you're a bitch. Oh. That or you stink. That sounds so oh. much better, Matthew. No, oh. they, no, because they should have said that, and that would have been a good like. That is a stereotype. That that would have been because good. I hate you. No, like it would have been good to say you like that. Oh yeah, because you know he's what? a skunk. I get it. Actually, yeah, but wait, do. <laughs> What? You know, that's a good question. Nobody actually in that game touches on that. Exactly. Does he never spray during the entire game? or? It's probably obvious, so they didn't want to do it. Well, yeah, I, think uh, I think they're trying to be polite. I mean, if it was nihilistic doing Sly 4, <laughs> Sly would probably say, you know no. what? You know what, little paradox? Steven. You stink. And then he turns to the camera and winks. <laughs> <laughs> Well, wouldn't that be awesome? <laughs> I, do, I do like, I do like. This is off topic, <laughs> but if you're if you're talking about fourth wall in that, I really really find it funny when um, uh, El Jefe breaks the fourth wall like very briefly for like two yeah. seconds. I love that. That if, yeah. If you, if you don't, to be quiet. I think it's because he doesn't want you to know that he's breaking the fourth wall. So he's like, shh. <laughs> oh no, but I thought it was funny. He just looks at you and he's just like, 
And then you're you're just like, but 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 but. But no, no, I want to be plug in my PlayStation Eye. No, 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 no. It's like no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. You're saying you don't want to be quiet because he's about to jump, um, Ryuichi. Yeah, in that moment, so like, it's like, like, it's like no, don't no, tell no. me to be quiet. You're about to jump one of my ancestors. Like, asshole, no. Don't tell me to be quiet. No. But, um, okay, so. Ryan, who have you decided? <sighs> Sorry. Good question. Um, I don't know. I like, I, I almost like them all. I really do. It's um, your least that, favorite. Yeah. I know, but... <gasps> what? I mean, uh, <laughs> my, de- my default, if you want to go by default, just say La Paradox. I don't know, though. La Par- I mean... I, I, I'd say La Paradox second to my Penelope. Because like, I just want to talk about Penelope for a second, because that just felt so forced and stupid, and it was okay, like they just no. had to squeeze a betrayal I really, there. I really did enjoy well, that. She does seem like she had Bentley's <laughs> best interest in part she also seems oh, extremely loyal and sly as her friend shit. so i don't understand wish we had I friends for, i forgot to ask because uh amanda you remember like on tumblr like when there was this big rumor going around that like when sucker punch looked at the game they were like hey you know what about penelope as a as a villain and they like talked about the script more with sucker punch i i, I want it, i forgot to ask matt that, um... about that wasn't it that Sucker Punch appar- apparently had already originated, like, originally wanted Penelope to betray them or something? So it was something to do with, like, that, like, you don't know much about her or some shit like that. Actually, you really don't. The thing is, I don't hate Penelope's betrayal as okay. an idea. I hate its execution. Okay. Well, yeah. I just didn't like yeah. how they didn't like explain much of it. That was everything. that was a thing. Well, the, the thing that I liked about it was that to, like, it wasn't just like I never liked you, Bentley. It was like uh, was Bentley. Just, well, she thought just, she had Bentley's best interests in place. She was just misguided. That's what I kind of agreed with. Now the part that I that you always yeah. hit on and it always brings me back is that. Well, he, she's always really like Sly, and then all of a sudden she's like, "I hate Sly." That's yeah. always a really good point yeah. that Nate brings up, and to that I have no answer. The one, so. the one thing I do like <laughs> is the eye roll. That is my favorite part of the Bentley Penelope conversation. Someone made an appreciation post of that, actually. Just the the freaking the eye, eye roll. roll. I just love how, and it's like. That they hold that shot for like what ten seconds or something. It's just it takes her like ten seconds to get the eyeball from one place to the next. <laughs> I laughed at that. Like I was I was laughing and crying at the same time. And it was like animation of Trev and Howie, everyone. It was like my reaction to the fact that she betrayed, but it's also like that freaking eye roll just killed the whole mood. I'm just like that. That was funny. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Can I just say one thing I really hate is when people are, like, making up excuses that she got brainwashed by clockwork somehow, and that's why she betrayed them. Well, no. Oh, my God, I read that fan fiction, and I was like, no. No. Yeah, can I just say that's really stupid? No, someone had this idea that, I think it was someone in here, that she turns into clockwork. Vince. Vince. Is Vince in here? He is. Uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can't talk. I think it was... I don't think it was that she turned into Clockwork. I think it was that she helped Clockwork become yeah, who he is. Built. Yeah, she built him. Because how did yeah. he have the metal... How was he metal back in time, you know? How did he yeah, become metal she, at that point in time? Well, wait. Did she go... Did they put her in... Yeah, that's my the theory, past, Nate. Or did Vince, she just... Apparently Vince is... Yeah, Nathan, yeah, Nathan, yeah Nate, Nate hit on it. Vince just said that's... So. Yeah, he can't talk. Yeah, he's typing right now. It was that um, He's watching his dad. Penelope, like, I guess she was put in the same time period as Clockwork, and she helped him become immortal. She gave him the technology. You're really yeah. hurting my brain right now. I would really, I would, no, it's pretty, sad. we'll explain Brian, it. But Brian, I Brian, you have, no, Vince just you had have no idea how long we've wanted to talk to you about this. My freaking brain hurts now. Dude, like, Vince just had, just said, I have oh. a paradox. Yeah. In the clockwork. You see, huh. that's why I want a sequel to touch You're more on the betrayal and clockwork, and see if it actually uh. pieces together. 
So that way you can actually thing, go, oh! The thing is, though, time travel always hurts my brain, so, you know. You can't do time travel right. You can only do it differently. Uh, Vince has an amazing point. I'm, like, legit getting a headache, right? Are you but, fucking kidding me? But oh, my shit. issue is, Vince, and you, I, you're the only person I think that you could answer this. If the paradox is clockwork, how that can would... you see clockwork in the different time periods? The thing is, I think the paradox is too immature to be yeah. clockwork. Yeah, that's the thing. Like Clockwork is extremely mature. But that's, smart. but that's why, because... I Well, you have to think, okay, in the beginning, like, say, in ancient Egypt, he might well, I mean, be I mean... mature, but then he has eons of of maturity and intelligence to go by by that time he meets Sly. You have to think well, the of, thing yeah, is, he, he would have already met Sly by that time. Yeah, because he's in Egypt right now, right? Now, wait, wait, wait. He said, now wait, Nate. I have a point for that, too. Vince is writing. Hang on. Wait, he said, the paradox turns into clockwork and becomes immortal, but gets trapped in ancient Egypt. Okay. Hmm. I'm confused. The thing but about clockwork, though, the, years, the thing about clockwork and um, the paradox, though, is it seems clockwork is more based against Sly's father. And goes through and less the, against and goes Sly. Through, well, think about that. Yeah, that was the paradox yeah, but, too, though. If you don't forget, clockwork, the only Cooper he really does kill is Sly's dad. Yeah. So. Yeah. Exactly. So the par- I feel like the paradox wouldn't be able to contain himself and would kill every single one of them. Interesting. We're getting really deep into this. And it's definitely going to be just something stupid. I didn't, I didn't hear anything. Hey, you know what we should what? tell oh, yeah. now? So, okay, so, and goes through the time to get back at Sly. So, as, so he has thousands of years to get back at him. Also, Nate, that could be a ploy. Or play, I think it means to say. Ploy. Let me read this. Ploy. Because he killed Sly's dad right there. But made Sly essentially suffer. That doesn't sound. Me as I yeah, thought that doesn't sound like him, though. That sounds too intelligent. <laughs> for who? That's not even a joke. For, no, for, for the paradox. paradox? Yeah. For the paradox. That seems yeah. way too intelligent. Well, don't forget, the paradox will have grown. Like yeah, he beyond. he's had like thousands upon thousands of years to plan this. Even and I could well, like get a grilled cheese I, I, in that sort of I time. I still think that's way too. Well, one thing that that would You're make sense. You're telling me, Ari, right, if you live for a thousand sense, years, though, is it would make smarter? sense of him avenging his father if he killed Sly's dad. Yeah. That's, but if he was back at that point in time, I feel like he would have killed Sly's dad way earlier. That's true. That could be an intention of making him such a baby in Sly Cooper Thieves in time. That's true, but maybe his dad got away at that point, and then later on. Or maybe it, the night Sly's dad did get killed, uh, I don't know, the night Sly's dad did get killed. Think, think about night, it carefully, it's okay, you got night, time. Was the night he stole that ruby or whatever it Booked was? Booked on phonics, bro, 599. <laughs> you know what I mean? No. Yeah. So it might have been Not that sure. night, he's like, damn it, I was too late, and he follows oh, Sly. Well, I, no, 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 that, is... that's the point, that's the point. He doesn't ruin his dad's reputation, he ruins Sly. By following his dad home, making sure that Sly witnesses what's going to happen. I don't know. I feel like he would. That, like, I feel get, like he like, would rather just like end Sly's existence as a whole. You know. Yeah. Like it's probably he would also the be, easiest thing. He would also uh, be harboring a grudge against him. Geez. So. I don't know. Maybe he doesn't think about it too much. <laughs> well, I mean, like <laughs> the entire point, the clockwork he's had left thousands him. Of years in Egypt. You guys think really deeply, and it's yeah. making my head hurt. Good. So what were we talking about before? No, no, wait, hang on. Let's, let's see. What were we talking, talking about? about how crappy we were talking PlayStation about this. Clockwork, is. Clockwork uh, probably shut up, Daniel. until Sly's dad retired no. from the business so he could pick him off easily so he could tackle two points of vengeance at once. That's what, what? Vince says. Vince says, Clockwork probably wait. I, re- I can read. I can read. Well, no, but this is for the... Oh, they can read too. Come on. No, they no, 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 no. The, 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 a, the podcast. This is a podcast. Oh wait, are we recording something? Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Well, no, it's oh, one shit. of those things where <laughs> we go into. Oh, 
It's where we go into a deep discussion randomly and it just becomes a podcast kind of thing. Well, why didn't you I guys fucking tell me then? Because the uh, yes, sir. We didn't want we didn't want to I love you. ruin She's not the. She's not Shut up, Daniels. You love karma. The... What? So? What? what? Moving uh-huh. on. Anyway, Matthew. Also, <laughs> also, if the paradox had to wait thousands of years. I'm sure he'd want to stretch out his vengeance, vengeance as long as possible. Maybe Matthew shouldn't be the right person to read these. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're not letting you sign to the people that are deaf. Well, no, they just can't read the chat right now. Yeah. But it's it's kind of like being deaf, but also, well, it's more like being blind. Hang on, Vince is still typing. Okay. Look at that pencil. Well, that pencil, that we, oh, that we talk oh. about that. Why don't we actually talk about our favorite slime villains? Well, no, yes, we're, that's we're, we're, we were gonna get to that. All right, so we have our all of our. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, let's Before, let let's let Vince. Are we still waiting for Vince? Yeah, we're we're gonna wait for Vince. But while we're waiting, since we can like do this pretty quickly. Okay, so now we've gotten all from all the games from like each game we've said. Okay, this is our least favorite in everything. Okay, so tie all of that together. Every single Sly game, from every single Sly game, who is your least favorite villain? Every single Sly va- game? Like, yeah. you can pick from any of them now. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Does PlayStation Move Heroes count? No. No. Oh, no. damn it. <laughs> That's not canon. I was going to say Gleeber and Lunk, because those not... guys are bitches. No. That's not even Okay, so the overall. Those guys are bitches, man. Everything, like not just <laughs> game wise, everything. Who is your least favorite out of everything? Raleigh. La yeah. Paradox. You seriously. The thing, about, the thing about Raleigh, though, is I don't, like, hate he's, Raleigh that much. He's just. Yeah, he's kind of like that really man that went evil. That's it. Well, the thing is, he's like. He's too lame. He's just too. Yeah, lame. he. I just. Nah. I'm gonna have to disagree, and I'm gonna have to say Lafui, because I honestly don't remember anything about Lafui. You hate, and the fact that I, the fact that I solely don't know anything about Lafui, makes me kind of think like, okay, you know why what? don't I know anything about him? You know, you know what? That's a good point. Lafui never really had a backstory. Yeah. So I'm gonna. I thought he did. Was that bad. was Demi- did Yeah, the did beginning it. of it is Dimitri. The reason you're supposed, the reason oh. you're supposed to not like him. Is because he's like um he kidnaps Penelope. You got a point. I, yeah, that's true. Like I think at I think least I at least Rolly has a backstory. You have a point. I'm gonna switch to Lafui. Lafui. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna yeah, go to Lafui as well. Lafui. Yeah, because the thing is, the difference between all the others is that they we, have stories. No, yeah, because we because you know you know the intro uh, cartoon cutscenes before each level. We didn't know about Lafui until like the second or third mission, or actually the until, first mission. Until the end of the first day, I think. Yeah, no, like we learn we learn Lafui from um, what's that guy's name? Um, Black uh, Spot Pete. Black Pete. Yeah, Black Spot Pete. We Black learn Lafui comics. from that. So like they don't. Normally, they would tell us about a villain in the intro, but they don't. All we know is the area, because we're going to Bloodbath Bay because of Dimitri's grandfather's scuba gear. Scuba gear. So we okay. don't... Dimitri's grandfather's... What the fuck are we doing again? Scuba okay, gear. Okay, time gear. out. Time out. Vince finally finished. Oh. Okay. No, he's not. He's still t- <laughs> No, he wrote something. Yeah, oh. let's just wait. Let's just wait until he finishes typing. Okay. But... Yeah, that, that's really true, because they, they didn't really give us a backstory, because it, it was just kind of a villain-fill-in kind of thing. Like, well, there's no there's no real villain yeah. in this chapter. We're just looking for this scuba gear. But wait, we need something to trip them up. So let's put Lafui in here. Yeah, because <laughs> most of the time, it's like, here's someone who who's, like, going against you, but this one's more of just, like, this guy's in your way, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's more it's more of a side story because technically the other guys aren't after Sly directly. Lafui is just, you know, wanting to get back at Dimitri and just prove that oh, he's still as great as he used to be. Is he really though? I don't think so. I thought I thought Lafui's entire plot sentence was they were the cunts. Yeah, yeah, I thought he was like... But there's a direct. He just, he just wanted to be. He just wanted to be mean to be mean. Well, there's thought, a direct yeah. link. There's a direct link between Lafui and Dimitri because Lafui stole. Um... No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. No, no, he, no. Lafui stole, stole it from Black Spot Pete. Yeah, and... that he wanted a game of poker or something. 
Yeah, and then he uh, buried it, and he wants it back because it's his treasure. And, by the way, Vince finished talking, so I'm going to say what he wrote. I'm thinking La Paradox escapes prison and then gets Penelope to help him get, go back in time to ancient Egypt. And then, while their Sly uses their time machine to go back and leaves Penelope and La Paradox stranded in time. But before then, Penelope leaves a message for Bentley to save her. So they go back to get her and leave La Paradox there forever. But not before La Paradox had Penelope turn him into clockwork, making him, clo- making him clockwork stranded in time. Something to that effect. So, Vince, are you actually, like, working at Sanzaro or something? Because that seems exactly the kind of thing they would do. Or, or like, <laughs> was your... Were, were you the writer for all the other Sly games? And then I, you were just like, I have, it's my time to shine. Excuse I me, have. Vince, one more thing. <clears throat> LOL. Oh, thank you. you. I could, oh, <laughs> thank you. Well, everyone needed to know. You know, I, I have nothing to say. Cause it just well, makes, there you go, listeners. Just you makes my brain. the idea of the theories, God. I'm, 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 by the I'm, way, a, I'm a cell phone case. By the way, Le Flea. Le Flea? Le Flea. Le Flea. I will bite Isn't you. Isn't that like a character on Lucha Lucha? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the Flea. Luff, okay. Luff, I thought that's exactly what we said. Same thing. Yes. Okay, so to, to flesh out this brain conversation even more, we're going to go game by game again, and we're going to do yeah. favorite. I want to talk about our favorite villains before we do any more shit. No, that's, that's what yeah, I'm doing. That's what we're doing. I, thought, I thought you said, I thought you, I thought you were just, I thought, like, I misheard that. I thought you said, we're going to go game by game and uh, identify this plot sentence and uh, figure out how <laughs> long... The paradox has actually been fucking with us. Are you actually? Where am I right? How do you think I'm going to do that when my brain already hurts? You've anyway, done dumber things. Up, anyway, now we're doing favorite, not best, correct? Uh, favorite is not best. best yet. We're gonna do, we're gonna do the same way oh. we did with worst. No, Where, like we go game by we better than yours. Yeah, like what's what's your favorite in each game, and then overall, what is your favorite? Okay, because. Best, it's not even fair. Like that's clockwork, I think. Well, we're, we're getting a <laughs> we're getting a little ahead. Well, actually, would you, is that the best in Sly One that you're saying? But that's not my favorite though. See, there's a difference between the best and the. Okay, so well, do you, do you want to go? Do you want to go by Let's character best favorite and then? Per game. What? Favorite per game. Why do yes. we do that? Because we did that with villain, and then we did villain overall last time. Yes. Well, no, but are we saying favorite as in character? Well, we did our... In... Yeah, just character. I think overall. Like, just... Per game and then overall. No, that's what I'm saying, but, like, are we, we're yeah, saying like, uh, best character or favorite? Favorite, and then, like, we'll all favorite. decide what our opinion of the best is. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, so, again, Raleigh, Mugshot, Miss Ruby, Panda King, and Clockwork. So, Mugshot. Favorite and then best, I guess? Or... Both, whatever. The favorite is just be doing best is just too opinionated. Yeah, I think my favorite is Mugshot probably. He's pretty. Good. Yeah. I really like Clockwork. I'm gonna make your pair. Or no wait, I'm gonna make you a pair. I can't even remember the quote. It's like I can't, I can't gonna, do it. No, it's I'm gonna outfit you with the, your own pair of cement bunny slippers. You hear that? Your lunch, mate. Joik. Oh my Joik. god, I just, I just understood that quote. That's dark. Wait, you wait, wait. You just understood that, really? Wait, wait. Yeah. Like I, Say no, it like again. I, like Say I never, again. I never heard, Say I never like, I don't remember that quote. But Say hearing it, like as an as an adult or as a seventeen year old, I remember it. It was in straight to the top where you're going yeah, well, across you're... the um. That's kind of dark, that though. That's, that's, that's why, that's that's why I Ryan. like the HD collections, is that I realized how wrong everything is. Here, I can, I can you actually, know, right. with, with my magical powers, I can actually... Because I want to know, like, that uh, exact quote, because I, I didn't hear that's it. That's kind of crazy that in the what kids' game, they say? would have them yeah. to drown him. Wait a minute. Sly Cooper straight... And then there's that one scene in Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts where there's a, a drawing of yeah, her killing that's Banjo. Oh. I know, but that's the only scene where something happens that's dark. Yeah, I'm gonna, and I'm uh, like, oh. Find it real quick. Piece of shit. Rare. What well, happened? Boy, Vince, Vince made another little point. He said, 
You know, if what I said turns out to be true, that means Neela fused with the paradox at some point. Oh God, no! Just be quiet, then. <laughs> no, I can. No, I can. I can be quiet. No, no, I can. I can. Um, I look at that as like a meshing of minds. You remember that one like alien from a uh, Ben Ten, the second series, where you would like go in and they were all in, like the same little dimension. They were talking and arguing about what to do. Oh uh, yeah. I feel like that would be Neela and the Paradox, and Neela's like, "Hi, yes, now I'm fully in control of Clockwork." Yeah. And the Paradox is like, "So we meet at the la- what?" All right. And he's like, "Oh God, damn it!" All right, we're gonna. I we're think gonna... that would have been a. That sounds like a, like a sitcom. All right, here's the here's the quote. Gonna... One body, five souls in one body. What's going Stop. to go wrong? All right, here, here's the mugshot thing. One second. I draw that right now. Do it. That beat, nigga. I love that's how dark Sly one is. That's like, yeah, yeah, that's extremely dark. You just threatened to fucking drown him. When? I didn't see him in... That's cinder, all blocks. I... cinder blocks. Cinder blocks for blocks. feet, you know? Oh, like, oh they, like, cinder yeah. blocks. Oh, my cinder God. Cinder blocks, they drop you in a lake. I didn't hear Really, him. Matthew? Cement didn't... bunny slippers. I'm gonna slap oh, him in the cement. face right now. With my... Oh, God. I thought he said semen. Like, I don't know. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, semen? Like... Did you think he said semen? <laughs> it sounds like he did. The way his accent... Okay. Okay. Semen <laughs> okay. I am going the first <laughs> the, the the porno of Sly Cooper's happening. No, but I I meant semen oh, as in like oh. a sea man. Like Sly Cooper's ten, on ten, TV ten. in our years. No, what? don't don't what? go on there. What'd don't go see? on there. <laughs> what? Sequence. Moving swiftly don't go on. on there. Moving swiftly. Moving okay. Swiftly on. So Fight two villains. So, go. No, no, we only got yours, Matthew. We we need everybody else's. Alright, well, I'll be quick. Oh, okay, back. fine. Other people's opinions, okay. fine. No, no, I'm saying, okay, so... No, I mean, I'm I'll make fun of Oh, Matthew. Matthew, okay. So, which one would you say? What? We're, do- we're doing Sly 1 since Matthew... Matthew's done his. He's the only one that's done his. So, best or favorite uh, villain in Sly 1 to you? Raleigh, Mugshot, Miss Ruby, Panda King, or Clockwork. Wait, am I the one deciding right now? It yes. doesn't matter. Whoever wants to go. Yeah, I was like, what's going on here? Um. Hmm. Back. Oh, I Back. didn't know you left. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's always the way it happens. <laughs> Nobody tells us that. Oh, boy. That they're right. leaving. What okay. I miss? Nothing. Okay. Yeah, it was, I, 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 see, I secretly knew that Matt had gone. That's why I was waiting. Uh, I personally think that my favorite villain is Ms. Ruby. I just really? like the, I was so, actually going to say that. I just like the music. Yeah. I, I, can care le- that. I can care less about her. I just like the music. Well, she was kind of cool. I think. She was really entertaining. She was really yeah. freaky to me. Well, it's because you probably played it when you, you were young. You scared right? the crap out. Yeah, no. 2002, I was, like, 10. Well, while you may yeah. be afraid of black women, I love them. So. <laughs> oh, God. Implying Miss <laughs> Ruby is black. Well, I mean, she lives... <laughs> she, where, yeah. You know what? I'm not going to try. Out there. I'm not going to even try. Not, Guys, dreadlocks, there. Nate. Ryan, she she's has a dreadlocks. Okay, a okay, okay. She's just, leave it, just leave it there. Just leave it there. And I'm not being racist. She has dreadlocks. Okay, sure. Okay. You're implying that people with dreadlocks are black. Yes. Moving on. Like, that's why <laughs> okay. I'm just like okay. Okay. Hey, 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 Steven, who's your favorite? I'll be back, guys. I'm gonna be back. Okay, um... I don't know. I really like Mugshot, oh, and I really like Clockwork. But, I mean, Clockwork is more of the... You know, he's planned okay, all this... so, which blah, blah, blah. one is favorite and which one is best character? I can't say which like, one. Like as as favorite, you could say personality, but best as in like character writing. Yeah, like Sly Cooper might be your favorite game you've ever played, but your the best game you've ever played might be Bioshock Infinite. 
Yeah, that's true. Okay, okay. Um, I Clockwork has smart writing, and Mugshot has entertaining writing. Um, so I'm going to go with favorite be um, Mugshot. Clockwork. Oh. Favorite be Clockwork, but best be Mugshot as his writing. Oh. Mm-hmm. But when you say best, I have to take in everything into account, <laughs> like his boss battle, his writing, maybe, maybe his we're, model. Maybe we put too much into so, it. So, yeah, it's it's kind of too much. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and say favorite clockwork. Because he's so classic. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's like the classic horror, not horror movie, like the classic... Well, Mo- old movie villain kind of thing. Well, I always see him as the Joker to his Batman. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you can't have Clockwork without Sly, and you can't have Sly without Clockwork. I mean, Joker wasn't even the original villain. So. He's like he's like the home. He's like Holmes to Moriarty. Yeah, I can I can I can kind of say Mugshot as well because he's he's got he's funny without trying to be. <laughs> so. Just everything about Sly Cooper one is so classic. Yeah, it is. I do, I do, I do kind of like Panda King, not not for his character, but I do the one scene that I like in the Panda King's world. It's like Bentley's like, oh hey look, a fireworks show. <laughs> oh my gosh, no, that's not what I was saying at all. Oh my gosh, that's awful. Oh no. You know what I want to do right now then? I want to play Sly one. No, I haven't said that ever since I was like eight. Wait, what did you say? My headphones unplugged themselves. I want to play Sly, Sly 1 now. Oh, yeah. So. I never feel that urge. <laughs> I know, but I Ladies mean, just and the gentlemen. characters. Ladies and gentlemen, the uh, behind the scenes of how good Matthew is at Sly 1. The director's cut, now available on TDC. I, gonna... I, suck, I sucked at Ms. Ruby's level when I was eight. I was just like, Ryan, oh, the reason fun? why I'm not going to let you upload that is because <laughs> there's no audio to no, go I'm with. Kidding. Oh, there's no, not? No, there isn't. Really? When I do do. <laughs> do do. Um, <laughs> what? I'm gonna, Shut I'm gonna... up, Matthew. Wait, let me go when to the call. I don't... When I Get play... out of the call. And <laughs> when I up. play Sly 1, which is as soon as I'm done with Sly 4, oh. which I'm not even close with. But once I'm done with Sly 4, I am gonna do a Sly 1 let's play on my channel. But I'm also gonna do it. I'm also gonna upload to TDC because it's gonna be that. I could tell it's gonna be that entertaining. That or maybe I've gotten that good at it. I'm gonna wait, see if wait. I. I'm gonna, if I'll... I'm still raging at it, then I'm gonna be like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna. Okay, give me a second. Let me see if this is an actually has audio. Because I remember this actually having audio for some reason. Let me let me see. No, you have audio to me trying to do the time trials. Wait, 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 one second. And you were just like, Matt, no, just no, don't. No, do it. I have audio of the file me sucking at sly one dot wmv. There, there's audio for Yes, there is audio on there. Holy fuck, that's great. Upload that now. Are you kidding? Are you being no. serious right now? Wait, wait, did you say WMV? That's a that's a movie file. Yes. And yes, that's what I'm saying. No, but there's no audio for it. Yeah, there is. Not me talking. No, not you talking. Oh, I thought you I thought you meant like in general. No, yeah, there's audio, but like it's commentary. Doesn't have that. Commentary. Doesn't have that great. Oh look, Vince is online. That covers it. up half the screen. <laughs> Angel, oh. try it. It's online. Let's cover up the Are you not top using HDMI cords? The... Excuse me. Are you not using HDMI cords, Matthew? I'm using composite cables. Oh, I'm sorry. Just oh. like me, except his looks like so much better than mine does. Nah, I, 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 it's such a hassle. If it was so much, if it was easier to record, I would do it so much more. Yes, often. but you see, my, my way is easy, but it looks bad. <laughs> but, okay. Anyway, so everybody's back. Okay, so Sly One, uh, some I'm people sure, finish. In summation, Mugshot, Miss Ruby, Clockwork are the best. P.S. I suck at Sly One. We already know. I don't know. I'm just. As far as. Uh, 
boss battle, I would say Miss Ruby. Yeah. Um, just because I really, really like that song. I can be, like, what's really weird with it, though, is I have to be in the right mood because I can screw up. You are up... such a woman. No, 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 not mood. <laughs> I mean, like, I can screw up that boss battle. I can either do it perfectly or I do you it You have terrible. to have the right rhythm. No, like, yeah, it depends on the day because I, I... can either suck so bad at it or no, I can be amazing day. at it. Like, there's a difference. So there's a Matt day and there's a Ryan day when you yeah, play. Yeah, sure. But actually, yeah, the the more I've played it though, the more I've played Sly One, the the better I have. Cause I remember, I remember when I was oh, ten. Oh my god. I remember when I was ten. I had such freaking trouble with Piranha Lake, and now I'm like a master at it. <laughs> well, I'm happy for you, Ryan. Cause I, I still suck at. I still hate. I still hate. Uh, Down Home. Am I the only one here who's good at Sly One? I, no, no, I'm, I'm good, good at, sure. at it. I'm just not good at that part. No, no, see, the thing is, Steven, what you do and what, this is why I was bad at it. I was bad at it because I couldn't remember where I wasn't lighting the torches, but now I've figured out that if you don't light the two at the door and you're rushing and the only two, you only have two left, they're by the door. I go by the ones from the side and then the ones in the center, and that usually what gets me by, but I, I sucked right. at it so much when I was eight oh, years yeah. old. I suck at it now. <laughs> like I just go randomly. I'm like, boom. Well, boom. actually, actually, but before we move on, what uh, what year was everybody introduced to Sly? Eight uh, years old, 2002, uh, when it first came out. When it first came out. Uh, a couple years later, I would say. What? I remember because it was the day before. It was the day before my birthday. I would I say. Like, Give me that. I'd say 04. Maybe because I still remember playing the games, but then I remember seeing a commercial for Sly 3 coming out, and I said I want that for my birthday, So, and that was like 05, so I remember probably 04, like summer of 04, around there. Okay. Vince says he was in 2005. So, Sly 3. Alright, so, Stash? What are we talking about? What year? When you were introduced. What year were you um, introduced to Sly? 2012. So last year. Get out. Well, get it just out. got awkward. Shut, shut up. <laughs> get, get out. Fuck you all. Okay. Just, just get I out. I didn't have a, I didn't have a PlayStation Two while I was going. Just, out. just get out. Out. No, Fuck off. Out. Okay, you can, you can, you can, you can stay. You can stay. <laughs> Thank she you, can Nate. She can stay, Ryan. She can stay. Thank you, she Daniel. Does great Whatever. art. Whatever. She's a great okay. person. Okay, move it. Okay, so. Shut up, Ryan. Before, before we branch off into slides, I just want to say, like, like right off the bat. I didn't say mine either. <laughs> Oh, okay. Just making sure. Uh, my, mine was 2003. Christmas of 2003. Yeah. Me and Nathan are hipsters. Shut up. I actually wasn't <laughs> going to talk about that. I was going to branch out back into villains real quick. But... Uh... Yeah, I got it. I got it with the bundle. So... Like, it was... But if they did... If Sucker Punch did not decide to bundle that with the PS2, I would have never played it. I stole it from a friend. <laughs> one and two, I stole it, and then I bought three, and then I got rid of them. I don't know why, and then I bought them all again, and then I met you people. Yay, friends! You, you people, you people. Yay. you know you what I? People. Mean. What the fuck do you, you think we people. are? <laughs> Human beings. That's why I'm I a said. lesbian, you brat. There we go. <laughs> oh god. Oh, wait, you're Steven. <laughs> it's Steven. It's Steven. Steven it's Steven the lesbian. lesbian. Except it's spelled wrong. Yeah, but there's a theme song for me being a lesbian, so I'm happy. So wait, you're saying they spell it right? You spell it right when you're singing it, but not when you... My grandmother it. doesn't even <laughs> spell my name right. Really? <laughs> Are you serious? When I was little, I looked on our, like, little little car. It's my it's my dad's uh, grandma. It's my dad's mom, by the way. Um, I looked on our, like, um... On uh, my Christmas gifts, and it was Steven. Steven wrong. S T. Was it with a P H? P H. Yeah, oh. she spelled it with a P H. Ha. So I was like, um, "Mom," she's like, D -d -d "Don't, don't worry about it." Don't, don't. <laughs> Just, sh did you get? Did you I at least get good Steven presents? Grand, I mean. Oh my God, yes! My nana gives me great presents. She gives me like these awesome clothes. Uh. 
These are like we're, the we're cool. I don't. Tr- I never trust my mom with my clothes. Were I you like the cool kid that had like the Spider-Man T-shirt walking down the street? I always had a sp- I had Pokemon T-shirt. Were you, wait, yeah. were you the cool kid? Or maybe I'm aging myself, but were you the cool kid with light-up sneakers? Oh, yes, oh, light yes up. I was. I never had those. I, I had freaking love light-up sneakers. That was the like. That was basically the thing in kindergarten where if you had light-up sneakers, you were just you were automatically cool. Yeah, you were automatically. Yeah, I had you I had zipper care. sneakers, and I felt like the king when I had zipper sneakers. Okay, okay, I don't want to brag, but I had a Bulbasaur backpack. Oh, gosh. Yeah. I yeah. can't even remember I'm what jealous. my backpack was. I had classic Star Wars toys that I can remember, like the Okay, like, so, so, so seeing as this is called uh, the Cooper talk, I mean... Yeah, let's go back to what we were Let's Let's about. go back to Sly. Yeah. Also, um, Amanda left viewers. Amanda left. Because the, sc- the call screwed up. And, oh. uh, she um, the deck. you're not. Anyway. <clears throat> and Ryan, you and me, and like everyone on this call, I, hang on, I'm going to link you guys, but I have to get this t-shirt, and I think all of you guys need to get this t-shirt. Just give me a sec while the link boots up. Check it out. Nothing can ever match my um, Whore Island Ocelots t-shirt. Oh, let me guess. It's the shirt. Yeah, I saw this on Tumblr. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's still not better than my Whore Island Ocelots. I want to buy yeah. it so bad. Ryan, I don't know. Ryan's going to agree with me. The thing is, it's not, that, it's not that creative of a design. Yeah, I don't like the design. But that's it's why... Here we go, it's the art cool. majors. Well, it's, it's not my fault that I draw. I don't draw. even fucking draw. I don't even yeah. draw. Yeah, I've just do. seen better. I know. Ryan, what I do you write. think? He writes more than he draws. No, you, you drew the um, Thaddeus. But, but that's not being oh, yeah. that's not being totally. No, hard. I'm saying you can draw. Yeah, oh. you can. Ryan, what do you think? I can't draw well. I I, I would take it. I don't think he'll critique <laughs> art as much as I do, though. Consider like more as much as me that. and Stash or Carmen do. I like how he said that. What? <laughs> If I had what? money, you'd take it. I would Mr. buy that. Well, I here's how I wish there was a store, where, like, okay, I could like I could go to the store. I could say, hey, I don't have a credit card. Here's, here's twenty five dollars. Could you buy this for me and ship it here? You know. Sure. And then can... I pay them and maybe like five dollars more for their services. You can do that with a. Prepaid card. I I don't feel like doing that. Well, I don't feel like know, doing Matthew, that. Yeah. It's the exact same thing. That's not that that exactly it. like John John. I don't feel like doing that, man. <laughs> I just, I'm too lazy, man. I can't do I can't do a John. Yeah, John. I I wouldn't know how what? this work. I wouldn't know how that would work. Uh. So anyway. So do I just go to a Turkey Hill, buy, put twenty dollars on a prepaid what is a card? Turkey Hill? What? The... What do you mean? What the fuck is a Turkey Hill? Are you kidding me right now? Is this I've never heard of that ever. Thing? Oh yeah. It's like a Pennsylvania thing. It's a gas station. It's like a gas. Exactly. Yeah. No, like I, I forgot. Every state has a different like type of gas station that everyone finds. Yeah. If I if I said like it's a Wildcat's store. gas station, I don't think any of you would understand oh, what no. I'm talking about. Okay. So, Turkey. Turkey Hill is our gas station convenience store. So, but, uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so I would just wait. So I would just go there, buy a twenty dollar card, and that would not that would put twenty dollars on the card and pay for the card as well. Or Depends yeah, that pays for bit. the card. It's just it try. It's basically exchanging your money for a digital card. I could do that. What are we even talking yes. about? Do that, and then We're you can put the card's number on the internet and then buy. A we're talking about prepaid. Really? Cool. Yeah, you can do that. Oh my god. Prepaid okay. credit card? So, anyway, it's like Cooper. Yeah. I should do that. You know, that, that thing that we've been talking about for the that past hour. Raccoonus? Yeah, let's that. talk about that. So, okay. So, did everybody did everybody say Sly 1? I think I think it was just Matthew and Steven so far. What did I say? I said Clockwork. You said Clockwork I, and yeah. Mugshot. Uh, I think. Yeah. Didn't Nathan say Mugshot? No, no he I said, said Miss Ruby. Ruby. Okay, Miss Ruby. And what did Amanda say? She said Miss Ruby as well. Oh, really? 
Yeah, she's fun. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to lie, Ms. Ruby's my all-time favorite Sly villain. She's, in my opinion, the best we're, one. We're getting a little ahead of me, dude. Just spoiler! I'm getting okay. a little ahead of a... Uh... Hey, 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 Matthew. hey, Ryan, guess what? Yes. I'm getting ahead of you. Ahead. You get... <laughs> I don't it's a blowjob joke. Nobody. It's a blowjob joke. Nobody gets it. It's a blowjob joke. Wait, so what? Okay, what's your favorite or best best or and or favorite uh, Sly One villain? Mugshot. He said Mugshot already. Did he? Yeah, well, he just wants to Mugshot. I have shot. a really bad memory. Okay, I would say... Jeez. Uh... Just see, just the fact that you don't really... I mean, Clockwork's okay, but you don't really get much out of him, though. Clockwork's, like, that's, like, one thing. I just don't really care for Clockwork. I'm going to get a lot of shit for that, but I just don't <laughs> care. I care, but it's, like... You get a lot of shit in it. You can't... He, it, there's nothing else to it. Like, it's... I mean, he's very straightforward. It's, like, I hate Sly's family, and that's it. <laughs> Yeah, I like I like that the the shock factor that I like when I was little I noticed all those birds in the background I thought nothing yeah. of it. Mm -hmm. And then we find out that those birds in the background actually mean something and then I was like, "Oh my god, that's creepy. I love this game because I was a big Tim Burton fan back then." So, I, I would kind of say clockwork, but I don't I would <laughs> I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. I I might hmm Yeah, but I've, I I had all this time to like fall in love with Clockwork, so it's probably why it's easy for me to say. Maybe it. maybe Mugshot, maybe I'm kind of split between Mugshot and Clockwork because Mugshot I I feel had more to his character, but Clockwork's yeah. just like. Well, go ahead and say like your top. Well, the two thing about it, the thing about it is Clockwork, he was just sort of there, yeah. you know. But you knew someone was like holding a master, was the mastermind behind all of it. Yeah, that's that's. So you but, get, see, like, a foreshadowing to what you're supposed to be expecting, but you don't the expect... The problem with Clockwork, though, is that it's the answer. Like, if you ask any Sly Cooper fan, of course they're going to say Clockwork. Like, any yeah. any normal Sly Cooper fan. So it's kind of like the, the stale the answer. It's kind of like... Yeah, it's the popular opinion. So it kind of hurts feel it. guilty by saying it. It kind of hurts it, but... At the same time, like, I, that's what I don't like sometimes, where it's like, you have an opinion, and everybody's like, well, yeah, you have that opinion because everybody else has it. But no, that's just the common, that's the misconception kind of thing. And I always hate that in, in like, fantasy. Oh, uh, you and, just like, like the Joker because everybody else likes the Joker. And it's no, like, joke, no, Joker's I not my like favorite. because of my own needs. But it can go both ways. Okay, so, I guess we got everybody from Sonic 1. Hey. All right, Yay. so slide two. Dimitri, Rajan, Contessa, John Basson, Arpeggio, and Nila. 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 John B. Yeah. So Nila. So oh, yeah. Nila. Yeah. Thank you, Nate. Nila. I can't I believe you. I love Nila. Can we just ship Sly and Nila? No. I, I already did. No, we're not talking. No, let's ship Karm and Nila. Karm and Nila. Yeah, Karm and Nila is actually really good. There we go. Nah, Sly and Nila. Sly and Nila. There's so much sexual tension between the Fox anyway, and the Anyway, um... Jean Bisson. <laughs> hey, hey, Matthew, who, who's your favorite Sly 2? Jean Bisson. You just said. Jean, like, I can say... It's one of those things, like, I don't... Jean Bisson isn't my favorite villain, but I can damn understand why he's someone else's. Yeah. You know? He's such a yeah. badass. He's just so... He, yeah, he is just a badass. And he's just he's so, so entertaining. He's so old someone, school, too. No, someone should make memes. Like, instead of no. Chuck Norris, there should just be stop. John just, Bisson don't, memes. Don't, don't go anywhere no, no, with no. that sentence. I, I've got a, a t-shirt I'm working bridge. on. John Bisson on it, though. So kind no, of free advertisement for Sly Daniels right there. Jean, Jean Bisson is like the Chuck Norris of Sly Cooper, in my opinion. Only you the thing can about, stop the thing about John Bisson that's really well done... You know, is Jean Basson is the same as uh, who is it? Fuck, we were talking about it earlier. The villain who's just sort of there, you know, Lafui. Hello, Lafui. Jean Basson is already there, and it's just yeah. like he feels so out of place in the game because he's out of time period. 
but he fits right in, you know? Yeah. He's just doing what he's doing. I was kind of expecting right. to see John Basson somewhere in Sly 4, actually. He's so out of place, he's in place. Yeah, he's just a guy who got stuck in time. What He thinks he's a hero. He thinks he's doing the right thing, but he's not because times have changed. Yeah, that's that's one thing that's really actually interesting about his character. He wouldn't be a hero if he was, a, or he wouldn't be a villain if he wasn't in a different time. He'd be a hero. He'd be a badass. He'd be getting he pussy out the wazoo. He, he thinks he's doing good. <laughs> what 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 is he? He Ryan's sounds like, like a superhero that we've actually heard about before, and I can't think of it. It's, I think it's a comic book hero that we we can think of. Jonah Hex, who thinks we're doing, who thinks that they're doing good, but they're actually doing bad. Jonah Hex, maybe. Jonah Hex, what? I don't know. He's Jonah Hex is West. a hero. Jonah... Yeah, but he's a hero. Yeah, but if you... doesn't he time travel to the future? I don't know. Never mind. S- at some point in time, but like. Yeah, but not... then if he kills a person, then he's not exactly a hero. I don't know. Never mind. Forget I said anything. I don't know comics. <laughs> Daredevil. Oh, dare wait, Daredevil. All right. Kills so people. why would Daredevil be that? Well, I mean, not all superheroes believe what Batman believes. I mean, you kill the person, they're dead, they don't have to hurt anybody ever again. I kind of, you know, if I can say this, I would probably say Dimitri. Just because. Yeah. He get like he gets a, a treatment in Sly 3, and I really I really enjoy that. Cause it... Dimitri's a really fun character and everything. But, I, I, yeah, I would, let's I get probably... Million here and talk about Dimitri. I'd probably say Dimitri. No. Let's <laughs> Wait, <laughs> yes. Wait, who? Yeah, let's do what? No, no, nothing, 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 nothing. I, nothing, I'm, nothing. This, this, nothing, nothing. Uh, nothing at all. You do know I, I record this, so I will find out. Yeah, no, 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 uh, no. Yeah, what you'll find that? out, but it doesn't really matter. Anyway. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I'd say Dimitri. Story-wise, like, twist story-wise, maybe Neela, but as far as character goes, I'd, I'd say Dimitri. Because Ni- nope. Nila is just kind of... I mean, there was this giant twist where it's like, oh my gosh, she was part of it all the whole time. But just Nila as a character, I'm just kind of like, I hate wow. Nila. I was wait, just like, way wow. To, way to be yeah. a jerk. I was like, what a bitch. That's a, like, it was way a, to be a freaking jerk. That was so, all I had. Yeah, I'd say Dimitri, because he, he's more... I don't know. I love me some zombie okay. song. So, to <laughs> me, Sly 3 doesn't really do very well as far as, far no. as characters, but uh, let's let's try it. I don't really know who I would say for Sly 3, though. Don Octavio. Maybe. He's my favorite. Hmm. I like how everyone didn't say... No one said anything about the Contessa. I was really... I, able... is, the thing is, Contessa's right behind Nilo, but... She she's always and, right behind, isn't she? I like fact, I fact, like the big <laughs> reveal that she's actually working with the bad guys. I didn't see that coming when I was yeah. Like, I, did, what, I, would, I easily saw that coming. What was the breaking point for me in Sly Two was not the the Neela part. It was like Sly actually getting arrested for the first time. See, yeah, that I, was a big shock. Like when I was actually, kid, it's weird. When I was a kid, I saw the Contessa and I was like, she's a dark character. She must be bad. So. That's, that was me too, but then then she was like with the police, so I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to believe the game because that's what the game told me. I was always just <laughs> no, I was always sitting there like, no way, she's bad. <laughs> I thought she looked really creepy, and I couldn't stand the boss battle with her because I was like, no, don't touch me, don't touch me. Don't touch me. I, but I don't yeah, like bugs. I, yeah. Okay. Um. So slide three. Dan Octavio. I'm... That is the. I'm always into the, like the Italian mobster. I would so take. Like... Well, I'd say Don Octavio just for the, the, just the, 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 just because of the freaking pasta sauce. Oh God. But that wasn't even him. He had nothing. No, to no, no, I know, was, I know. I know. But that's God. the only reason I would say him was for his level, because the. Lord, I... Villain persona. Exactly. No, I know, I know, but I'm talking. I'm just. I love the the pasta sauce. Pasta sauce. That's just. A, He's like, are we missing me. out? Are we missing out on that good pasta sauce? What? Well, let's see. We are in Italy, the inventors of pasta sauce, so probably and pizza. Not. How come they didn't mention pizza at all? I don't That's know. Well, mean. sauce. Well, pizza is... really wasn't made in Italy. Is the same. Uh, I don't know. 
Pizza's Italian food. What are you, American? No, it's not American. It's not Italian food. It's... It's got entire ingredients, I, isn't it? No, I think it, it's it's like it's like the hot dog. It originated in a country, but <laughs> pizza is exactly on. like a hot dog. You no, see? because no, because hot dogs like hot dogs like sausages originated in Germany. They were really so famous. did hamburgers in hamburgers as well. But they really caught on in America. They really caught on in America. Same with the pizza, probably. Well, we Americanize everything. <laughs> Yeah. Well, we, I thought I thought I read somewhere that the pizza was made in Brooklyn. I doubt that. But it was like originated from all these Italian ingredients that this Italian guy had around. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, a- anybody else? Slide three. Who's in here? I got you. Uh. Uh. Okay, who's host? I am. No, I know, but do we have a perfect? Oh, there you go. Works now. Oh, do you want? Do you want to be host, Ryan? So you can. No, record? I'm saying no. I'm recording it already, but it doesn't matter who's hosted it. It automatically starts. But I'm saying I don't. Thing. I think Steven and Matthew are in. Oh, no, wait, there we Call go. Call Limbo. Call Limbo. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, Stash was in there for a second. I'm, yeah. Matthew. Yeah, Matthew, we were in Call Limbo. Matthew. Matthew. Hey. Never mind, just go on with that. Okay, well, what were you saying before we got cut off? I was, like, asking... I was asking what all the Sly villains in Sly 3 were. We've got, like, Oh, Sly, oh, okay. Gone. We got Octavio. Um, mm, we're not going to say the mask anymore. Uh, Black Baron, Lofui, General Sal, and Dr. Hitch. And Stash is typing. What? Keyboard's loud. She's oh, always, shit, sorry, she's sorry. Loud. Yeah, this is like, I'm, I'm mm. listing off these, and it's like, what is it, it's like, oh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's like Stash is writing no. an angry letter. <laughs> she, I hate you. Her, her and Carmen are always writing angry letters. Oh, so you're writing they're, a letter to me? Yeah. They're, exactly. they're keep, their mics are like right next to their keyboards. Which is yeah. stupid. Okay, what company is that so I know not to buy it? This, like the key, the laptop? Yes. Gateway. It, those Gateway. They still exist? What? Apparently. Gateway st- what? She's Canadian. That's- Everything exists in Canada. I thought yeah. they died, like... Except anger. What? <laughs> Is anybody else surprised? Have you- or- Wait, no. She's stashed. She's always angry. Is anybody yeah, else surprised, or... About what? That Gateway Okay, Matthew, I don't know if you can hear us, but you're really glitchy. Yeah. Matt, reboot your computer and come back. You know what he did? You know what he no, did he to just- us? He, he just shut his laptop. Oh. Seriously? He shut his lap- yeah, he was going to go to bed. He was going to go to bed. So you know what he does? He shuts his laptop. And forgets to go on. Uh. Anyway. So. Still a glitchy, Matt. Well, why don't just you type to, and tell him just to- go to, Just go to bed, Matt. Just go to bed. You've already done tell, enough. No, tell him to open his laptop. Well, actually, he probably already has. No, his laptop is open. All right, call him, Nathan. Oh, call him in. Jeez. Technical difficulties. No. 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 He has to restart Skype. No, yeah. Go away. No. Just restart Skype. <laughs> restart, you lap. <laughs> That's what it sounds. Start. Just <laughs> start. Restart the la- so so Matthew. Start. A- what the hell is up with this thing? Matthew's a lap, a lap now. Are you are you insulting him with the worst insult in the world? Yeah. I didn't even put a K in there. Am I drunk? No, drunk. you didn't. Oh. Good job. <laughs> is this what I look like when I'm like? Restart. You lap. 
<laughs> Isn't that what I'm like when I'm That's doing night saying. blogging Wait, on did, Tumblr stash? You, you didn't yes. hear me say that? I was like, Sorry. restart, you laugh. No. <laughs> like, Start, you laugh. It's like the most retarded. It's like a two-year-old <laughs> insulting somebody. You laugh. <laughs> You're such a lap. <laughs> Being such a lap. Okay. Okay, anyway, what were we talking about? Sly 3, Call favorite Sly 3. Call in. Which I really don't say think I have one. Yeah, I actually don't really like the villains enough to have a favorite one. Is someone yeah, gonna I, add I, in? I can't. I, I can't really okay. just. I can't pick one. Yeah. That, there we go. Yeah. My bad. My bad. Before guys, I'm really sorry. Okay, so we basically yeah. a couple of us ruled out that we just don't like slide three villains. <laughs> Well, they yeah. just aren't very memorable. Like, if yeah. I had to pick a favorite, honestly, if I had to pick a favorite, I'd pick the Don just because I remember him so much. Yeah. But I might remember him so much because he's the first enemy in the game. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm, if I have to pick one, it'll have to be have to be Don Octavio. I love. I, just, I, I really just don't like many of them. I just remember remember when you're trying to tail him and he's just doing the opera <laughs> stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's all That's I really fun. remember. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, that's that's really it. Okay, so, uh, this could go two ways. Um, so, Sly 4, favorite Sly 4 villain. So we got El Jefe, Toothpick, The Grizz, Black Knight, Miss Decibel, and The Paradox. Grizz. I don't know, I'm kind of I'm kind of split between Grizz and Toothpick, as I said before, because, um... They, I think they have the most personality of all of them. Um, I'm gonna go with El Jefe, because he's the most different out of every Sly villain I've ever seen before. Yeah, because he's just kind of like, eh, whatever. He's, he's not, he doesn't, you don't feel sorry for this guy. In the other games, I kind of feel sorry for some of them, because a lot of bad things happened to them, and then they chose to become evil because of those bad things. Whereas Sly himself has had something terrible happen to him, but he's still a good guy because of what has happened. So El Jefe, you don't know much about him. All you know is that he's just a powerful military guy, which you know kind of also gives him sort of a backstory equal to Raleigh's, where he's just a rich guy that you know was smart. Yeah. The, so I'm gonna go with El Jefe. The thing about the Sly universe that I find interesting, though, is that. You're, you get to see your perception. Like, it, it, of course, it's a cartoon, so it's not going to be, like, real life, per se. But you get you get to see a different perception of, like, what bad guys are like. Because, like, it's funny that we say Sly's a good guy, but he's really a bad yeah. guy in the fact that he steals. But he's the good guy in the bad guy category. World. So it's, it's a really interesting genre where it's like you think Sly's the good guy but he still does bad things but he's the I guess cleanest of all of them or something it's really yeah. it's it's weird that there can be a good guy and a bad guy in that kind of world so I, just I like the Grizz because all he want, ever wanted to do was skate and I can respect that yeah Vin, uh, Vince, is, respect that. Vince is the Grizz and uh, he reiterated what I said by saying uh, Sly's an anti-hero and he steals from thieves and he knows it's right from wrong. Yeah, yeah, that's I, I can see. Yeah, because that's what's interesting. He's good. He's kind of like not necessarily because he's not giving it to somebody, but he's kind of like the Robin Hood of the you know thing. Except he's not giving it to the poor. See, he steals only from people who steal. Yeah, so it's not. He's the good. It's it's a really weird situation, but it makes sense, which also gives me a headache. But okay. So, and anybody else? Uh, Sly Four. El Jefe. He's the only person I actually took seriously as a villain. Yeah. Everybody. Everybody else is just kind of. Yeah. Um, Toothpick. I was kind of like, this guy is kind of just like a butthurt little kid. This <laughs> yeah. Decibel I actually Lollipop. like is like. I liked her as a person and not as a villain. Where's my know? lollipops? <laughs> um, the Grizz was just entertaining, but you know, like the Grizz talking funny doesn't make him as a character. So, 
I didn't yeah. think it was that he talks funny. I just think it's just what he said was what funny. he, he like, funny That's what say. I just <laughs> yeah. No, <stop. laughs> no, you said he talked funny, as in like Matt, get out. Was funny. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna get out because you didn't like. You said it wrong. You should have said what he had to say was funny. But no, what you said was he he talked funny, like he had a funny voice. The Grizz. If you could see my face right now, <laughs> you would just like. It's not the. It's not. It's not. Matt, I'm hosting right now. Is it? I know. I'm just simply saying. You're yelling at Ryan for something that you didn't really clarify on. I was yelling at you. Why are you yelling at Moving me? Moving on. Because I hate you. Amanda. What? 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 I what didn't your... do anything. What is your favorite Sly 4 villain? Why are you guys even fucking fighting? Carmelita. <laughs> Here we go. What, what am I saying? You know, I changed, my, I changed my villain to Carmelita. <laughs> Carmelita was just a bitch that whole game for uh. no fucking reason. <laughs> She's smarter than that. Here we go. Yeah, uh, so, she's so, still a woman. It could have been during that time so, of the month. So, uh, I just don't oh, man, I've just gotten over that. What's the difference <laughs> between me and her? I mean, besides, like, the fur. And... Is this now going to be called Cooper Talk Uncensored? Be, be, besides you not being able to have periods? Well, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. hey and your hey, vaginal hey, juice hey, flowing. Can you help, can you help me derail this conversation? <laughs> yeah, no, let's let's actually... I want, I want to talk about it after this. I want to talk about Carmelita after this. Okay, so Amanda... Yeah, having is... pee? No, like, actually... Like, Who's your favorite there? Sly 4 villain? What? You, Amanda. Favorite oh. Sly 4 villain? Um... I don't know, to be honest. Um... They were all kind of cool in a way. I might just have to go with Miss Decibel because she was the most entertaining to me. What? Because she funny. sneezes a lot. I don't know. I just found her really weird, but uh, like, she was fuck off. She was quirky. Yeah, that that's the word I. I yeah. like her. I don't I know. Mean, I just she was kind of. Funny. I I really for some reason would say. And she did it for love. I'm torn. I think it was I think it was Matt who said it earlier. She's just like a classic sly villain. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah, her backstory remi- uh, is reminiscent of a lot of the old Sly Cooper villains. Whereas yeah. Toothpick is like, there's not enough information to justify what he's doing. He just yeah. wanted to be a cowboy. <laughs> Basically. I do, but if I, 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 I would say my favorite's either Toothpick or the Grizz. Because they're just, they're likable personalities. I don't know. Like, they're totally different, but they're, they're likable to me. Because like, they're just, I don't know. It's just, it's just funny. I want I want you boys to make me a cake, but I'm not going to eat it. But uh, just a different type of person, I guess. And what's with the toothpick if you're not gonna dig out food from your teeth? Yeah, why didn't he have a toothpick? That really pissed me off. Uh-huh. <laughs> like sticking out of his teeth. It's just a name. It's, it's just... He has it in the cutscenes. Does he really? Oh. Yeah, he's a toothpick in one of the cutscenes. I, okay, I, I I don't care. Now, here's a problem I have. I don't care that Toothpick knew exactly when to capture Tennessee. That idiot would never capture Tennessee regardless. <laughs> Do you see him in the cutscenes? He's jumping up and down like, woo, shooting like in the blade, guns ablaze just in the air randomly. There's no way that moron would you know, catch him. I was gonna say he's also my favorite character because you remember the, um, you remember when you were following him and as Bentley and he went hoo ha ha. Yeah. It's like, oh yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah yeah. That's the only character like all the other Sly characters that you tail they just do a 180 and they turn around whereas Toothpick has this whole dance routine as to how he looks behind him he's just like hoo ha ha. I like that Toothpick the, wants to be cool, but he's in not. The, That's in the why Grizz... I like him, though. That's what makes him likable, because he wants to be cool, but he just has no chance at it. He reminds me of <laughs> Travis Touchdown in the sense that he's trying to be this big, badass uh, supervillain. How do I know Travis Touchdown? It, Travis I, Touchdown, I, for those who don't know, Travis Touchdown is the main character of No More Heroes. He's an anti-hero. Oh, he's assassin. yeah. Oh, okay. And the whole game is just him being this bombastic idiot. <laughs> and he's trying to be this really cool character from, like, one of the, like, you know, like a movie or an anime or something. But the entire time, he's, like, he's, like, making, like, stupid jokes. He's using the word fuck unnecessarily. And he's a damn good assassin. He's just goofy and he's silly. 
I'm gonna have but, to edit that out. <laughs> like Deadpool, but crazier. There. Why am I not I, part of this? I'm, I don't uh, know. Become a part of it. I'm going to the bathroom. Well, I mean, I mean, we could use uh, Amanda's. Like, I mean, if you want to like do some art for TDC, that'd be great. Like what? See, well, I don't know. Banner stuff. Yeah. See, well, Can't seeing you? seeing as, uh, I'm not saying no. But I'm blaming YouTube, the fact that we have less room of creative interest. Yeah, but, like, I mean, something new for, like, the Cooper Talks and stuff, that would be nice. Oh, yeah, that's true. We do, we do. Yeah, so, like, to put just a picture on, like, the background of Cooper Talk would be cool. Like, every episode have a different drawing by one of the different artists at TDC. Maybe. Yeah. Do you even have a YouTube, Amanda? I do. I just don't use it oh, that much. do? Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I just... I follow, I never... subscribe to freaking TV. That doesn't mean, dude, we have 3,000 something. Do you think yeah, I know he, what every he's single a, well, channel is? He's a he hot knows. shot, all right? He's a hot shot, all right? He, he can't just. Yeah, he can't, he can't I... check No, but you, like, you're it actually, I see how it means is. nothing it to, to him. It used to be where. I see how it is, Ryan. It used I to see. be where they would, like, tell you that you're, you have a new subscription or that. Um, actually, it used to be easier to figure out. Who was a new subscriber? Now they like order it differently and all that kind of stuff. So like it's really hard to tell. But I don't. I I didn't even know you had one. most of most of the time people say, "Oh, I have a YouTube channel." I'm like, wait, what? How did I not know this? Well, it's because I don't post anything to it. I just save videos. That's no, but it. that's what. I, no, but still, like I did that same thing to Steven like a while ago. Like he was like, "I have a YouTube channel." Like you do? What? What is this? Ryan said that Ryan asked me the same question the, the day I asked to be on TDC. He's like, "Wait, you have a YouTube?" Why is Jimmy calling me? Because Jimmy's awesome. Why is Jimmy calling me? Put it on, put it on speaker. Answer put it. On speaker. Put it on speaker. Uh. Right here. Uh, uh, come on. Uh, hello. Okay. So what was what was the original thing we were talking about? Uh, hello. Oh. Okay. I think he butt dialed me. You just hung up. Who? Talk to Who? his ass. Talk Jimmy to just his hung ass. up. Well, I I'm sorry. Oh, oh, okay. I'm not. I'm not sorry. What the oh, Jimmy frick, just, Jimmy? Jimmy just texted what? Oh, while you were gone, Jimmy called me. I answered. It hung up, and then he just called me for like literally a second and hung up again. <laughs> He's trying. To oh, Jimmy something. doesn't know my new number. He's probably trying. He, 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 did he text you, Nathan? Jimmy hasn't texted he's me. Saying he's saying he's going to be home in 20 minutes. Why is he calling he's, me and then he... Oh, wait, that might that might have been my service. I have to get off. What are we doing? Why yeah, do I have to off? Yeah, I have to go too. Why do I, I have to, to a... draw? I Why was only you... supposed to play games for like two hours okay, and then okay, I could okay, go back well, to drawing. Okay, 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 well, at the same time, motherfucker. Okay, let's wrap this up. No, <laughs> my computer's all the way over there. Let's wrap this up. Alright, so slide four. So everybody saw said there are slide four villains? What about it? Yes. Yeah. So what about it, bitch? Oh. Yeah. yeah. It was. It was El Jefe. Vince also says, um, whenever someone says the word toothpick, I think of the dragon from. Help me. Sha Shaolin. 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 Showdown. Uh, moving that toothpick around in his mouth and accidentally stabbing his gums. With I I said that. I've done that. Ago. I've done that. Oh. Uh, anyway, so. Uh, you wanted to talk about Carmelita real quick, Nathan? Uh, I just wanted to talk, like, what does everybody think about Sly for Carmelita? Because I honestly really don't like her at all. I don't like her model. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, it's I'm true. Gonna, it looks true. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be honest I like, here. I liked her voice. I liked her voice. That's, uh, that's I thought awesome. her voice was really good, but I didn't yeah. like the Sanzaru redesign at all. I don't. I I liked it I better when I thought it. it was Daisy Dukes. I love the Daisy Dukes idea, but the skirt, the skirt, no. Yeah, it's like I don't like the skirt, not because it's like oh, it just exposes her legs, but because it's like it's not Carmelita. Yeah, it's like why the fuck would you wear a skirt? Yeah. I mean, it like looked like in, a in, jean in a skirt. skirt. It looks a lot. Yeah, yeah, it does actually. That's why I said skirt is because it looks like it has a zipper. Like, you can zip it, and it's even shorter shorts. But the thing is, I don't I don't know that many superheroes that fight very well in a skirt. Well, that, that and... I wouldn't really say she's, like, girly, but, like, she's... 
not what about that, Wonder Woman? She's not that. She's practical. Really. Yeah, because yeah. she, like, what I don't understand is, Boys like, you go through the games, and she's all wearing the same thing, and then Sly 4 comes along, nah, the, the, the pants no, there's, go. there's one theory no that I did like a lot, there's one theory I did like a lot, and it was that because, like, um after she started dating Sly, she was less of an ice queen, you know, she felt like more like a woman, so she started, oh, like, yeah. exploring actually, yeah, I heard about that. Actually, that. I haven't heard about that, and that actually kind of I actually have sense. something yeah. funny. So, maybe they got rid of her pants. Because none of the other characters wear pants. Oh. Uh, so they're like, else. so they're like, uh, <laughs> so they're like, uh, you know what? Nobody uh, else wears uh, pants, so you know what? We'll make, we'll, we'll make Carmelita wear. Have skirt. you noticed though? And then, that... like, neither, and then, neither does Kratos, but you don't see them redesigning. And then the everybody game. else, now they can say everybody else doesn't wear pants. Carmelita, well, Carmelita does wear clothing. It's well, I mean, skirt, neither, it's neither did Miss Ruby or Miss Decibel. That's true. That's true. That's why she's looking around being like, you know what, some of these people don't wear pants. I'm gonna... Only the fur animal girls don't wear pants. So, yeah, that's that's my theory. That's my theory is why she wears a skirt. Because Sinzaro was like, you know yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, nobody, you else, that. nobody else wears pants, so let's make it a skirt. But the, but the Steven's point of n- no superheroes that wear skirts, how about Wonder Woman? Wonder Woman? She doesn't that, wear she doesn't skirts. Wear skirts. Not a skirt. Someti- sometimes like she a... does, though. I remember in like the old comics she did. or something. Those like that. were, okay, think of a cheerleader skirt. Those are like still skirts, yeah. but they're still able to move in it because they have like these extra short shorts underneath the skirt. With Still. this skirt, it's actually a constricting skirt. Yeah. Yep, it's, it's shorter, of... so... It, but it's shorter, so wouldn't it be easier? Yeah, but it only goes, like, to her mid-thighs. That constricts you from walking. That's mm. why in the model it stretches out. Meh. As a realistic, sh- as a realistic uh, skirt, it shouldn't act like that. Okay, so... We were, we so were going... should, we, should we wear something like Wonder Woman does usually, or Zatanna wears, or... Well, I mean, uh, Wonder Woman now never wears a skirt because they know, know that's a dumb idea. I know. She wears I'm leggings. Asking, asking, yeah, I'm asking. She doesn't wear a skirt because feminism. Because <laughs> feminism. We're not going to get into that. The, yeah, like, the well, thing I about mean, it is, like, like, a lot of people don't like the Carmelita redesign because feminism. I don't like it because it's stupid and unrealistic. Her waist is too thin. Yeah, like, and she's you can wearing see her high, ribs. She's wearing high heels in combat. Her skirt is too short. Like, why is she even wearing a skirt? She should be like, I can understand shorts, but a skirt is just like, eh. She pants that don't fit anymore. Well, I, 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 went, I used to go buy a theory that... <laughs> I used see, to much ice cream. See, I can <laughs> kind of see the reason why they kind of went away. From, I mean, No, now that I'm thinking about that in my head, before I say it, I'm just going to stop because it's not going to come out good. <laughs> okay, so wait, so you were you just saying the model of Carmelita or Sly 4, like, story? Carmelita. He meant Which both. I, think. I, I, yeah, I meant, I meant both. Meant I think the only thing they got right with her was her voice. Her voice and her face. It's about no, it. No, her, her face was a little weird to me, too. Yeah, well, her what, eyebrows are really weird. Well, what's what's wrong with story, Carmelita? I just she, think she's too she much She was just too bitch. frigid, yeah. Pretty much. Do you think that after spending all that time and knowing that Sly was still, like, a criminal, it's like... Do you think she'd realize that he gave up everything to be with her? So, I Why just you think want to she's... make him jealous. I just think she's a lot smarter than that. She would have taken a lot better. Yeah, but... I I can kind of see there's a diff- there's a big difference between. It's this... not impractical, but it doesn't. A big I, I think the between... I think the actual story of Sly Four isn't the, like the actual time travel thing. I think it's Sly and Bentley's relationship issues, and the rest of it is like a side story. Mm. That's just me. Yeah, I, but there there is a big difference between the Sly 3, Carmelita. I want to uh, see if they imply some of that if they do a sequel. Oh my god, this dog with eyebrows. <laughs> you, you saw that? You saw that? Yeah. Um, yeah. Somebody, but, um, somebody put eyebrows on their dog to look like KK from um, Animal Crossing. Where? Uh, did you reblog it? Yep. But uh, I think, I, <laughs> since everybody has to go, I really don't know what else we can say. Well, what about our all, all, all over like over? Let's end it with that. No. What? Oh, I'm not on. ending it with that. End with what? Because Matthew was about to say don't, something. Don't, 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 don't. Matthew. Okay. What I, was, about I was just gonna say, what about everyone's? Over? What? Uh, <laughs> 
Say that again, saying, Matthew. I was just saying, what about everyone's overall favorite? Favorite villain? Oh, oh favorite yeah. Game? yeah, we forgot about that. Like, we, we were doing yeah. favorite villain by game, but now, like, overall from any game. Mine's a toss-up between Jean Bisson and the Grizz. And I think maybe Jean Bisson because that he poses... Not only to, not only is he a fun character, but he's also, a, like, a bit of a threat. Grizz is too... Yeah, Grizz is too funny, mm-hmm. and he doesn't seem as much as a threat as the John is. So I'm going to go with Jean Bisson, even though I think the Grizz is a much funnier character. Yeah, I, villain, I, I, I think I'm probably going to have to stick with Dimitri. Just the fact that, not not just in Sly 2, though, so I'm kind of cheating a little. Well, no, actually all games. Um, he's he's not, only a villain in yeah, Sly 2. Yeah, but... Though. So you can't, I don't know. I don't know, right. I, I would stretch it a little bit. I, I personally... Did I, they all, what do you think, Sly 5 Betrayal? He's just, he, no. Actually, that, it's not, we can't really go too much into it, because it's... There's not really too much to go into it, but I don't understand why they didn't let Dimitri talk at all in Sly 4. I was disappointed yeah. in that. Cause he yeah. Talked, he talked I was to... disappointed that they had a 3D model and didn't yeah. even use it for the actual game. Yeah, they took, like, I saw the trailer and I'm like, okay, so Dimitri is the voice in the trailer. Why doesn't he talk in the actual game? <laughs> the 3D model was kind of just, I don't want to say waste of money because there's, it's never waste of money unless it's like, Something that was so tedious. Dimitri wasn't tedious. He was part of the game, but I mean, like, you have this awesome model. I mean, the the girl at Ghostbot did so much redesign work on Dimitri, and then just to not even have him in the game at all, his model. Yeah, let but, me. Like, uh, what, damn, one damn. question I really would like to ask Steven is after playing through the game, what is your overall uh, opinion on the Ghostbot animations? They're okay for movement. I like that they went forward. Going, f- it, it is a big improvement, but it's also less of an improvement because the character designs for the for the uh, models are very inconsistent. So they're halfway decent, but not enough to make me go, "Oh, oh I love it." Yeah. See. Yeah. You you were pulling the opinion because you didn't see like an actual full motion cutscene of it. You actually saw just a screenshot of it. Before. Yeah, you really so, you pick them to death, really. So That's yeah, not... I would say they're tolerable. They're definitely not circus punch, yeah. but they're 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 okay. They're tolerable. I, like it's... I thought they're pretty nice. Yeah, they really, they really grew on me. Yeah, yeah, they grow on you, but I'm just so picky about it. They grow on you. What are we What it, are we talking about? The ghost, ghost bot animations. Is. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, no, like if okay, if it wasn't. A Sly Cooper game, they would be good. Yes, but yes, the fact yes. the fact that we're so used to the Sucker Punch style makes a, our brain says ew. But if not, it, if not it was, really. Well, it's the inconsistency of the characters that makes me hate it so much. It's not that. It's just um, the way like it's animated really nice. I will yeah, say that. Yeah, the movement's but, great. Yeah, but just the way that they drew the characters themselves is really bad yeah, to the me. Models. There's a lot of that's what we're there's saying. There's a lot of anatomy. Like a lot of anatomy. Oh, so you're you're not and you're like. Ugh. So you're not saying be Sly Cooper characters. You're saying drawing anatomy in general. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because that that's what I'm going off of. I'm going off of the fact that it's Sly Four, and they've never drawn Sly Four before, like Sucker Punch. No. So it's like yeah. No, no, no. I I'm really hate like... that the director was like, hey, guys, we got hired for the Sly Cooper game. I'm really excited. And he didn't bother to really ask his team if they were fans of Sly Cooper. Like, everyone at Senzaro was like, hey, were we all fans of Sly Cooper? And everybody was like, yeah, we love Sly Cooper. I was like, cool, let's make a, a demo and show it to Sony. But he was just like, we're taking the job anyway. That, that might be another difference between Ghostbot and Sucker Punch. Because Sucker Punch actually had a passion for it. Superbot yeah. was just commissioned to do it. <laughs> Yeah, they were probably just like, yeah, let's get this over with. Because Circa Punch like put their heart and soul into it, and Joe's one thing that uh, one thing that it, yeah. it seems like with um, I actually disagree. I think they had a lot of fun with it. Yeah. Yeah, they said that's yeah. what the designers said. Like the girl that uh, was hired to do it, she's on Tumblr, and she says she loved working on it. She she loved doing like, redesigns and motion. You see their facial expressions, you see the animation, yeah. you see how they act. It looks like it looks damn like it looks good. Well, I I love it. Yeah, I, I actually I, a, I, I don't think they're tolerable. I think they're damn good. I love them. I might even like them. 
I there's a lot like of background things that, that there's a lot of background stuff that you could just look at and be like that is really clever and that's really smart. Well, I'm and saying funny. I'm saying like I'm saying like um, canon wise, like Sucker Punch, like had their own design into it, and I I don't know. It's I I wouldn't say that. Ghostbot didn't enjoy themselves while they were doing it, but Sucker Punch definitely had their own. I don't know. The thing, with the it. thing about no, I'm I'm gonna sort of explain the differences between it. The difference is the Sucker Punch art style was extremely clean cut and sharp. Yeah. Yes. But it yes. was moving cutouts, and Sly Four's actual like. Animation motion. and move, yeah, motion yeah. movement. Yeah, had a lot, a lot, a lot more frames. Yeah. I just it, still yeah, can't it's just it. it's it's a different style. Yeah, I can't I can't get into it. It's just, just a different yeah. style. I'm okay with different style. It's just the whole entire fact that like they let so many mistakes in through after they finished the game is what like the cane really floating behind it. his hand. Well, they actually fixed that, but like, have you they seen did? the way that they? Yeah, they did. Have you seen oh. the way that they draw Sly's hands in those cutscenes? Like, yeah, what's it's like crab hands. Like, it seems very spider seems fingers. Very, oh yeah, it's like, yeah. It's like when it stops, it feels weird, but when it's going, it feels really wonky but quirky and cute at the same time. You know? Yeah, yeah really the still, quirky, but... the still, the keyframes that the girl posted on her uh, Tumblr. Those look really cool and everything. Some design choices of Ryuichi I don't like what she did. But, I mean, so far when, when they're just skills, they're, they're pretty good. But, I mean, when you stop at one of the movement frames, it yeah, looks they really just, weird. Yeah. It's just, they, I think, I don't know, they just didn't do as good a job as I thought they could, in my opinion. You know who could have done a great job? Goblins. I like goblins. Oh, yeah, I remember you talking about them. I All know. Right. I, well... Times. I guess that was Cooper Talk. Okay. I, I guess. love you. <laughs> love you. In the, guys. Unless somebody has, you know, something else to say, which I don't Dick know. Dick butt. Mm, not really. Dick butt. Go, John Bisson. No. <laughs> Ryan, what about you? Did you say yours? My what? Your all overall favorite? No, I did Dimitri. Oh yeah, oh. I forgot. Because that, that's that how good. that's how we got into the whole Dimitri doesn't have a personality in Sly Four. Yes. Because <laughs> because he could have awesome. talked during the cutscenes. He really could have. Yeah. Because like because like I really really did not like the fact that Sly read for him. It was like Dimitri said blah 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 blah, and it's like why couldn't you just? But it's all it's always been like that. It's all it's always been like Sly's oh. monologue. No, no, I understand that, but I'm saying, I'm just saying in general, because, like, we, we've heard him talk in Sly 2, Sly 3, and then Sly 4, he's there, but he doesn't say anything. The only job he had was the trailer. Basically. Yeah, that's, that's really it. And that's the only reason he's credited, I believe. You know, I, I, I kind of think that the guy that does the voice for him was kind of like, oh, man, I'm going to need you to do Sly 4, and then he only does the trailer, and he's, like, waiting for Senzaro to call him to come back to the voice acting booth, and he's like, well, this is going to be great, and then they never call him, and he's yeah. like, what? 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 No. Moment, or moment, David Scully. I tell you what, moment of silence for him. What? For David. David Scully. Moment of silence. I said silence. Hey, I'm singing the theme song I of Dimitri. I said Dimitri. silence. Okay, you're fine. Okay. One thing I do, uh, what was I going to say? Damn it. <laughs> okay, I guess that's a, a sign to stop while we're ahead, because yeah. if we don't stop now, we're going to end up going another but hour. But you stopped forever ago. I right? think I think Sly 5 should actually be called Sly 4 Part 2. You know, we'll we'll that's get into that. That's, that's we, where we're we, stopping. That's where we're stopping. Stopping this. Yeah. Now. We'll, okay, Matthew, you need to. I've got to go. I've got to go, guys. But um, stopping now. Swap host. Put a put a. Okay. Uh, I think.